God damn. You know, Kiwi, I uh, I just told you before I went live, I've had a real mic this whole time. Just never realized to plug it in. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are, man. Episode 22. <laughs> Shit. Smokey's Shit. evolved. Smokey's yep. evolved. He's It'd got his mic changed. now. Yep, we uh no no more of the quietness. Now if now if anyone I mean we're never gonna have Bowser on again, but now if I wanna if I wanna yell back at him, that'll work. But yeah, yeah. Um guys, how are y'all doing today? Shit, episode twenty two, Cyrex goes to court. Cyrex definitely went to court. Yeah. Um didn't like I mean, we found out about some shit, like the trial coming up, which is wild considering about the fucking trials about to happen with Cyrax oh, in the courtroom. Man. That shit will be litty. Um, White Bowser, White Bowser's like, uh, how, how do we even talk about that one, Kiwi? Like, he's just depressing. Like, it's uh, you go to his community paste, uh, community paste page, it's, um, it sucks. Like, it just straight up yeah. sucks right now. We covered it for a little bit on your stream the other day, but just, it's God crazy. Damn. He's been incognito for three days. Many people think he's dead. Um, you know, he's, most recent. He's enjoying the chicken. He's enjoying the chicken. I yeah, think. I think. I think he's enjoying the chicken too. <laughs> Talk about Earl Moore, <laughs> Rice King. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, 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 we're gonna do just that. Um, his public we're starting okay, off not, Earl. I'm acting like this is my stream now. I'm just reading the chat as it goes down. Um, but look at these. Look at these messages. Um, AMVW. That's Bowser's new channel. If anyone didn't know, a lot of people have asked, "Yo, what?" It did the White Bowser delete his page? No, he just he just morphed into AMVW, um, and like look at these posts, Kiwi. Christ's sake, that 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 most recent one, like to, for that to be your last post in days, is some real cryptic shit. Yeah, it's fucking spooky. But I love how it has the most likes out of well, this one has sixteen. But um, <laughs> you know, it's got the it's got more more likes than the majority of these posts. Comments on that are heartless. <laughs> but, oh but I my mean, god! I it, you yes. Know, you know, no one. No, I'm just gonna say it's Bowser. It's Bowser. So I don't blame no one. But Jesus, it doesn't god. matter how much suprexy you take. You're still a predator. <laughs> My favorite one, you'll go down and you'll see Scaly Schisms. Scaly Schisms left a comment on there. The, there Are it is. you winning, son? Are you winning, son? <laughs> <laughs> Are you winning? I don't think Bowser's winning. Think Bowser's Dad winning. finally comes home from getting milk, and he's like, Are you winning, son? <laughs> and and but it's like but look look we're, we're joking about this but bowser's sitting here just trying to say up oh, up oh, i'm gonna do it i'm gonna like do take too much medicine again and again i have to keep repeating this that nobody's ever told bowser to like to, to double dose on his medicine and that at least from our show he just said that he's doing it and then he expects everyone else to be the ones at fault bowser yeah. don't take that much medicine what you should be doing is just you know getting off the internet stopping with all the creepy shit and then probably things would you know be normal but you're putting signs up out front of your house telling people to go away and that you're getting off the internet and um it's a really bowser, bowser, if you're world. watching dude what you what you gotta do and it's really like the only option is you gotta stay off the internet you gotta go get psychiatric help and you gotta stop being a predator all we've ever done is talk truth about you and it's, uh, it's like you're allergic to the truth. So hey, I, I need, I just need to bring this up. because This is a great, yeah. great point right here. Kiwi in the chat. OFS says, always remember Bowser told cow wrangler to overdose. Yeah. Yeah. He did. He totally did. He totally oh, man, Earl's no told problem. us all to go fucking, you know, yeah. <laughs> Minecraft. Yeah. Earl, Earl said a lot of, a lot of fucked up shit, but you know, you, yeah. you know, I mean, veteran, he also a veteran where he's like, just do it. Like, yeah, yeah. Bowser, Bowser had no problems. You remember, he would never be able to make an answer on that. He would always be like, I don't, well, I, I never said it and I don't believe it. Well, you have said it. Okay. Well, I don't believe it. Like, it's, it's, he, he couldn't, he's the this, worst. This is all so like hypocritical of him because of like the whole initial outrage coming from him telling a veteran to like, you know, end it. And yeah. now he's like, oh, feel sympathy for me. I've been abused. It's like, dude. You got you. You can't even hold a candle to what that guy's been through, and you told him to do it. So it's like you, I you don't understand. Yeah, yeah, These trolls have been going at my disabled mother. <laughs> They've been coming to quotas just to mess with me. I I yeah. I don't I don't even. I don't even go on the internet anymore in these trolls. It's still like they they still just mess with me. And he's doing the Cyrax thing. It's like and it makes three me days. Yeah, three days a week. You know that's not leaving the internet for good. Like just just you know, just shimmy on out. 
You know, don't yeah. give it like a month or two months, you know, maybe three, maybe a year. Just probably forever. A year. Yeah, yeah. Just for, don't forever. fucking come back. Forever. You know, give it give it two months at first. And once you get through first past those first two months, everything else becomes more to say, all right, well, how about another three months? How about another four months? And or, eventually, Bowser, you'll never be on the internet again. Or Bowser, you migrate to TikTok. And then <laughs> the go to begins. TikTok and start going to war with <laughs> Nova and Tofia. Chill. Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> Sophia, that's not how you dance. This is how you dance. And just Bowser doing like one of those fucking things next to one of the Asian guys. He hits the thug shaker. <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck, dude. Bowser, he, he would thrive over there, but his access to children would also be terrible. rampant. Be so I, d I don't want that. I take that statement back. <laughs> Absolutely terrible. He, absolutely. Don't don't give him what ideas. Else, you're right. <laughs> what else? So what else has he posted anything else recently? Like lives or videos? Is that really it? Like no, but Black Bowser re-uploaded one of these old ones, and okay. I figured maybe we just look at it a little bit and see what his mental state was before us, because the boxes, yeah. Well, okay. not before us. Before people found out what he fucking did. That's you know, like that's facts. That's the truth. That's facts. Um. While you pull that one up, I'll say shout out to Hillbilly Wizard for the 20 subs, man. Mm. Hillbilly, you're a fucking goat, brother. Always love. And Mr. Muda for the 10. God damn, mm. you guys show love to the chat. I know Anthropic Star Kid gave 10 at the beginning, too. You guys are all fucking goats for that. And we'll get to all the other super chats in a little bit here. We're just going to uh, we're, we're gonna see. What, oh, God, look at how cluttered that room was. How many of those fucking – what was in those boxes? Like uh, My mom's uh, the, the papers, papers for uh, – for codes. <laughs> I, I don't know. I My to... father used to collect newspapers. The boxes on the top are all from 2002. <laughs> the, the boxes on the bottom, they're, they're, they're older ones. And But, but how did, where did he put all this shit? These it's, it's are rooms. boxes full of hair that I take from the shower dwains at the community showers. <laughs> That's probably I what his hair looks here. like. His hair looks like it's <laughs> a bunch of random ass hair. He looks a lot different. Yes. May I say this? And this is the case. I think I think he looks healthier now than he does in this bit in this video. Yeah, I think he's lost weight. Yeah, I think he's lost weight. I think that we've motiv that that the uh, situation has motivated him. Um, yeah, you know, good for him. He's he's rocking that mustache these days. Yeah, he's um, <laughs> he just looks like. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Can you believe that we knew this guy? Before yeah, that's all what, this. Like, I, I watch the videos now and I'm like, man, like what a stupid bastard. And I sit there, I'm high, and I'm like, wait a minute, I've spoken to this guy before. Yeah. Like I've gotten in a fight with him before. Like, and it's just it's weird, Kiwi, sometimes the way uh the way life goes. Like I never thought in my life I'd ever um <laughs> I'd ever have a conversation with the strangest white Bowser from Michigan, you know. It's um it's been a weird ride, but here we are. He's your biggest fan, Smokey. He's your he biggest fan. He loves you, except for that Cywax video. That kind of twigged him. But all yeah, other Cyrax, videos... I'll never, for, I'll never forget that. If I could find, <laughs> if I could find, I, I have that comment somewhere. I've told people that story before. When <laughs> I put up the video of Cyrax and the stylist, Wet Bowser. Oh, that's another thing. That's another thing. Holy shit, we're just talking about like you know committing the Minecraft and all that. But uh, mm -hmm. Bowser's talking about he would he would message me and say, "Smokey, your video on Cywax is too twiggling for me." I don't care if even if it's joking around or he isn't serious. Cywax putting a stylus to his neck and 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 doing that really triggered me. And I was just like, okay, like okay. you've got to okay. love the Earl Doobie moral grandstanding. Yeah, it's like you never had a problem with me reading the letters of Chris, like going into detail about how he wanted his mom to die after committing incest on her. But you know that was that was tame compared to Cyrax <laughs> was it that a how is it that he worded it? She's walking around in a zombie-like state. Oh, God, yeah, it was terrible. He's like, she's moving around. She's not even really there. And it was like, when you describe it like this, it's like, first off, your last memory of her was like probably the last day you slept with her, and she was a zombie. I was walking mm -hmm. around, didn't know where she was, and you took advantage of that. Like, great job, Chris, you fucking sicko. He's like begging Cole Smithy to do him a favor and just go pillow Barbara. You know, like, <laughs> Jesus <fuck>. Christ. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the whole Cole Smithy thing, I just, that's such a saga that interests me so much. Like his brother. It's and, interesting uh, to me too, yeah. 
But I guess I'm getting off topic. Let's watch. No, I mean, I mean, hey, man, it's a show we talk about whatever the fuck. And honestly, Cole Smithy, Cole Smithy's like just a weird dude, but he's weird in the way that he just wants to like get he wants to get notoriety by shitting on popular movies. And I mean, <laughs> who, well, who's I, that? I kind of agree with him. Toy Story 3 was not all that it was made up to be, bro. Like, um, yeah, I don't I remember when it came out and like I was what? Well, I was a little ass kid when when the original Toy Stories yeah. came out, and I think anyone who grew up with them was like, "That was the shit." And then the new one came out, and I think I was just old enough to be like, "Eh, I don't really care about Toy Story no more." So yeah, I think that's real. what fucked with it for me. Yeah, that's for real. I loved the first two, dude. What what my thing is these days is like the Shreks. I love the Shreks. <laughs> Shreks. Yeah, dude. That was I the first the ever Shreks. movie I saw in the theater. It was the first Shrek. Man, that's like a blessing. You know who reminds me of Shrek? <laughs> He looks just like him. Can we? Can someone paint him green? Somebody someone... once told me, dude. It's like somebody once told me the world was gonna twill me. He's a snow ogre. A snow ogre. Oh, it's quiet. No. Oh. Ninety percent of everyone in the Jesus, what is up with all the quiet videos coming from Bowser? Ninety-five percent of them would rather seek therapy through toys and technical toys, technicolor cartoons about phones. Technicolor cartoons, rather than real life, real world. Therapy he's going off on the PMV community. And yeah, but like I think he's trying to make therapists. He's, he's trying to make fucking the point that you know who needs real life therapy when you could just be like you know just engulfed in this world of cartoons and all this bullshit. You know, Bowser it worked really well for Christian. I think he's like making what he's saying is he's like nah this p these like therapists these PMV therapists are fucked up. Go see an actual therapist. I get. I think that goes back to Chris again. Is that like that? Yeah. Um, like I've heard Chris talk about that before. Like the uh, people talk like pony community shit. And that's what Bowser does too. He was, oh. and you know, we go back to this quite often. But there was something in the water at BronyCon 2017. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, a, a part of the essence of Chris Chan <laughs> spilled into Bowser, and we have what we have here today. Because like a lot of people may not know this, Bowser Bowser attempted, or not even Bowser attended. BronyCon 2017. Chris Chan also attended BronyCon 2017. So somewhere, somehow, maybe as they walked past each other in the halls somewhere, like I said, some uh, of the low-cow spirit of Chris got into Bowser, and we're, we're witnessing what we're seeing here now. They soul-bonded in the bathroom. Soul, but yeah, and, goddamn right they did. <laughs> and now, <laughs> so do you re recall the event that he did at BronyCon 2017, because he had an event well, similar to Hedgehog. When he sat Hedgehog. next to that woman and was screaming yep. and shit? Yup. Yep. Yeah, because there was some girl there, and I guess Bowser thought she was hot. Like, Bowser saw her, and he was like, oh, wow, she is really pretty. I need to go over there and, like, try to make a move. And, chat, I'm wondering, what do you guys think here? What do you guys think Bowser does when he's trying to when he's trying to rizz up a female? What do you think Bowser's trying to do? Like, how do you think Bowser spits game? I think we may have talked about this last week, but he sat on the bench next to her and he just screamed, I'm sitting next to the hottest woman I've ever seen. And then she just got really awkward out and walked away. I like to imagine when he did that, he was like flailing his arms and shit. <laughs> like all, he's just like all I imagine. Down. All I imagine is like an anime scene where, you know, he like cocks his head to the sky and screams his love. And then he figures her to just like, I think we, we talked about this before. He expects her to blush and be like, oh, yeah, yeah, we have, I, we, I didn't this, know I was so beautiful. I think we've had this exact conversation yeah. <laughs> on a previous episode. <laughs> but it's so true. He thought that she was just going to be like, oh, you're so manly. Nobody's ever done that for me before. <laughs> yeah. Like you brought up, she was going to blush, like look down, look up at him and be like, wow. Like <laughs> no man's ever done that to me before. Like it, <laughs> I, I love it. I, I wish I knew more about the whole situation because she... I would have just left if I was her. I just left yeah. the whole convention. Yeah, you gotta be like, wow, like fucking white Bowser <laughs> just tried to spit game, and that's what happened. That is terrible. That is terrible. Did you say tried to riz up? I, I fucking, I did. That shit's hilarious. I yeah. did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, He's got and that good riz. He, he wishes he did. <laughs> if he did, he wouldn't still be a fucking virgin. <laughs> He's got like that sneako riz. 
I you just know. say I just I just got to look at that and say like you know if there's any if there's any females here watching right now like who wouldn't want to be in that room with Bowser with all those boxes right there just knowing they could fall on you at any moment it's uh it's got to be a pretty pretty exhilarating experience I don't know why none of these females have wanted to jump on that bandwagon yet yeah I, I don't understand why either he's got such a cool like bachelor pad in his mom's basement sick um, sick he doesn't pay clean. rent he yeah. doesn't pay re- like he's Fuck. so lit that he doesn't pay rent like yeah. what like like how how could you say no to this guy like look at him he's pointing he's pointing at his mm-hmm. camera or his uh, microphone being like look do you have a microphone like this i do now <laughs> but like you know do you have a like so <laughs> Yeah, he's just what a goat. Just what a goat I, on screen. I just really imagine nothing. him walking around the room like mansplaining the whole thing to the first oh. female that's entered. <laughs> Over here is the walls I painted a few years ago. You can see that the paint is fading already, but don't worry, we don't smoke in the house. I just use a pretty cheap brand of paint. So one of these times we're gonna have to fix it. Over here you can see my chair. The bottom of the chair is kind of wobbly. So I have used this little piece of wood to keep it straight like he's i get you you're too good for me yeah. roxanne the muslim that's right roxanne walk in that room and oh, was like dude. well well shit like i'll I, never no- for i'll never forget urban rescue ranch jr coming on being like earl there's no fucking way that roxanne the muslim said that you were too good <laughs> for her <laughs> he he is Bowser. I can't believe. I really can't believe that he he expected people to believe that. that some girl would just be like, "Wow!" Like and like, "Wow, you're so awesome." I'm just you're, you're too good for me. He didn't understand that her saying the whole like, you know, it's not you, it's me shit. Well, that really meant Bowser that it was totally you, and that she just he says that he still talks to her every now and again. I imagine he kept her. Well, he's number. the only person that treats her like a human being. She that's has right. To go. That's right. Everyone else treats her like a Muslim, right? Like. Because because there's a difference, Bowser, right? Like that's I can't fucking handle this. I can't believe when you said that too. I don't treat her like a Muslim. I treat her like a human. <laughs> Guys, are you taking notes? Are you taking notes? Yeah, out jot of all this book? down. Jot if you ever have down. a Muslim girlfriend, treat her like a human. Yeah. That's all you have to do. Yeah. Who did he I'm remember? Sorry. You remember when he joined the one time? And like, this is one of my favorite things. I had to mute myself because I was laughing so hard. It was, just, it was something, it was something small, but he joined. Maybe, you know, this may have been the call with Black Bowser. I'm not sure, but he's talking and like, Two seconds in the talking, he's like, "Oh, sorry, my 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 girlfriend actually just texted me. Sorry, I have to get back mm-hmm. to this real quick." Yeah, sorry. I do remember and that. Like, he flexed made, on us. <laughs> you made that so like obvious, and then like shortly after, it was like, "Oh, Bowser, you still with her?" No, no, <laughs> he would never say why. It's like I wonder no, why. You're Bowser. Right. He wouldn't tell us why either. He couldn't yeah, come then, up with a reason. He's a fucking troll. Man, it's fun reminiscing about the good old days. Um, yeah, good old days of only a few months ago. It's wild how, so quick, <laughs> how quick shit changes, man. It, it is. And honestly, like, when you think back to uh, the early days of interacting with him, when, you know, you didn't know the lore, well, not all of it, because nobody knew all of the lore, like, until halfway through oh, yeah, the no, podcast. I, I have, there's a Discord call, like, early on, like, probably the last few weeks of the, no, it was actually probably the beginning of this year. And it's where we invited Bowser in because I saw it one morning and I was bored and I was like, invite this guy in the fucking call then. Let me talk to him. And mm-hmm. I remember I told him, I was, I was just, just saying shit to him and I ended it by saying, is that why you hit that girl? Because I thought that was what happened. I still wasn't entirely, I still wasn't entirely <laughs> sure. And that's why Bowser immediately afterwards left. And uh, That's why you hit that girl. Yeah, because yeah, I remember going into and just thinking that Tawawa was the peak of it and thinking that was like the comedic of all this. Oh yeah, and then not, not even realizing. Close. No. Seeing what we look at now, man, holy shit, he's fucking crazy. He really is, and if he keeps this up, he is going to cement himself as a legitimate lolcow and not just one that our spear of lolcow commentary knows about. He yes, knows. he um, he he was pretty prevalent and hated by the pony people a while back. But yeah. honestly, like, who gives a fuck? There, like, most <laughs> of the pony people are degenerates anyway. So it was like you know. But once Bowser, once other people started taking note of him. Um, 
you know, he, he was never able to slow down. He's never, he's never been able to stop doing all the stupid shit that he does. And I don't think he'll stop anytime soon, Kiwi. Now, he might be forced to stop because, well, he's not online right now. He may be in some type of institution. Who knows? You know, he might be doing what Cyrax could never do and just staying offline at the request of, like, a doctor or the cops or someone. Who knows? Mm -hmm. I think he's just doing it because um, he just, it, he doesn't enjoy it. He doesn't enjoy the reception he's getting. He enjoyed it back when he had people in his corner that would, uh, you know, fluff up his ego and shit. But now that there's no one there, it's like, oof, you know, this ain't fun anymore. Now yeah, like, no. the reality is setting in. I don't have people to protect me. Yeah, you know? it's, um, and that's why he's so lost right now. And, you know, Earl.exe isn't computing all that stuff. Oh, my God. Because he just, he can't understand why. He can't understand why people wouldn't be on his side anymore when it's, you know, it's 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 pretty fucking Dude, obvious when you hear the stuff that Bowser said. That dot exe shit, fucking Donnie Mayo. I'm doing a, I'm making a video on Donnie Mayo right now. This shit like broke yeah. today that he's a predator. And oh shit! He'll do that. He'll be like dot exe, and I'll, I'm like, what? What do you fuck? What is this? Like, is Bowser a dream? They, I think it's a dream fan thing. I think these are people that are so entranced in the internet and it's their entire life they can't. Like Chris, like I said, I hate making the comparisons, but there's a lot. It's like Chris Chan who would always try to be like, you ever seen Family Guy, how Peter Griffin would do this in like a real life situation? He would compare it to Family Guy. I think Bowser's just so like entrenched in the internet that everything to him is revolving around the internet. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's unhealthy as fuck, dude. De like, definitely. If you don't if you don't actually go out and touch grass, you're gonna lose touch with like social skills, fucking reality. Um, this shit is nice, but in doses, and I feel like that's what a lot of low cows don't do is like put it in doses. They just live online. Exactly. They, fucking, they burrow in. Um, that's that's probably it for Bowser. It's been yeah. relatively uneventful, you know, aside from the community tab. Yeah, if anyone finds out where Bowser is, you know, let us know because all we've ever seen now is just him. He, he's running for the hills. I I don't know what's going on with old Bowser. Nah. We have no idea what's going on with him, but what we do know what's going on with is Mr. Wilkins here. Yep, oh, look God. at him. Look at him. So distressed. You laugh, I laugh. You laugh. You cry, I cry. Seattle Seahawks. What? Wait, what? That's what a Seahawks fuck? shirt? That doesn't make any sense to be a Seahawks shirt. He has so much Seattle gear. He's like, only use me blade, bro. Like he has, he has so many fucking like his his Seattle Mariners John Olerud jersey always cracks me up. Um, mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> I because he's from like he lived there for a time, didn't he? Or was it I Alaska? I don't know. I don't think so. Rupal ran off to Alaska after the fucking Chargers. I thought this little fucker was born in Alaska. No, I think he's from. Ohio chat will correct us. Um, yeah, but it, it honestly like this is this whole Cyrax going to court art arc has been a treat. It's been a treat. We've it's had been footage wild. of him. Yeah, yeah, we've had footage of him at the courthouse. Don't um, play. We've that. had. Do not. Don't play that, or play it on mute if you play that. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> no, I'll play it on I'm mute. I'm sorry, right. I'm not trying to be, but come on, come on. Next, if you're gonna if you're gonna record Cyrax, record him. Don't give your own commentary over the recording. Leave that to to people like us. You know, um, yeah. I know, I appreciate Drader for going out there and filming. Him. Oh, I appreciate him for going out and filming, but I just couldn't. I, I can't. No. No. Yeah, there's no Cyrax interaction. I get it. But there's people the the point is there's people like keeping this much of a tab on him where he can't even go out and set in front of the courthouse without being fucking filmed. It's like yeah. Chris Chan levels of being tracked down. Yeah, it's um the guy does say it in the video, and that's the one thing I do agree with, is that no matter where Cyrax goes, people are gonna follow. He can't do anything. He can't do anything. I love like, how he's without people right. following him. He's he looked right, right at him. At him yeah. He looked right at him. He knows Sally's pretty visible. She's like, uh, he's like that blob. And then Cyrax is, I mean, they're like, they're, they're red and blue. So they stick out pretty well, you know, yeah. they're, they're pretty easy to see. It's like Smog and Ordsteed. It um, is. Wow. It really is. Holy shit. It re Cause you know, where's Ed? I don't know where Ed's at right now, but these two are really looking like a dark souls boss. And, uh, 
I don't know why, that, that is the one thing I will say. I don't know why Drader didn't go up there and at least trigger the boss fight. Because I, know, I, mean, I don't blame it would, him it would have been, that. I would I have at least went that. up there and been like, hey, are you chain smoking? You don't want to aggro, you don't want to aggro Cyrex. Um, oh, come on. But it's a fucking, I, you're on public property. You're not doing anything wrong. I don't know. I mean, this is right off from the courthouse. This is, I, like I said, I'm with you. It would have been funny <laughs> if the guy did. I just, um, you called him scabby head too many times. That's why I'm like, nah, I, I don't know. Um, He's too used to ripping on Shanty where he calls her wart face all the time. Ah, uh, makes sense. Uh, makes sense. But yeah, this is, yeah, someone make fan art now. Now. Yeah, yeah Orange Sheen and Sally. just tried to fucking kill me. <laughs> I'm trying to think of like a good like like Ornstein. God damn it! You know, you know, yeah. you know that people will make some damn good art. Smoggy, uh, Smoe, fucking, so, yeah, Smoley, uh, Smo- <laughs> um, Orn racks and Smo and <laughs> I don't fucking know. I can't. I'm yeah, not, it's tough. I can barely do English in the first place. Um, so that's him out in front of the courthouse. You know, nothing really big here. Yeah, uh, they Ed dropped him off. Mm, Ed dropped let me him plug, off. And, uh, let me plug N Word Boys channel here in the chat. Facts. Facts, man. N Word <laughs> Boys out here doing Lord's work. N Word Boy, really, if, if you want to see something quick, like on Cyrax, you want to know when the, the most recent shit is uploaded, bro, this dude's had it on lock. It's crazy. For real. And one of the best, like, ever, honestly. That's kind of crazy to say because you see a lot of, uh, like, Cyrax, uh, clippers come and go but that that's one of the best ever in my opinion yeah my i always say my favorite's always been the uh the dust smoking hippies in the videos of marty going to yeah. cyrax's house god those yeah. dude those I, I'll, I'll be able to be old as shit look back on this and be like <laughs> that's the sh- that is the shit right there that is the best let's see here this one's a little farther back um, oh, this it was is after the first arrest, but the police come again and ask him if he's beaten Sally. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and this is so real quick. I, I, I have a video dropping on this tomorrow with all okay. these body cams in it and stuff. And mm-hmm. in the video, I'll spoil a little bit now because it's it's pretty fucking. It, it watch this video right. Like when you see this, look how Cyrax at the end tries to act like, yeah, you know, we're all in this together, cops. You know, we're all boys. Like, like, yeah, I know what you guys are talking about. Just, just watch his attitude at the very end of this. It's what, like a minute and thirty seconds long? Yeah, it's not long. Chance here. Who is it? Exactly. Please. No, just a minute. So they wait. Cyrax has to shuffle down the steps. You know, he'll get there eventually. He's got. He, he's small. Oh, there he is. Do you make a comment about punching your grandma online? No. No. I have not laid a hand on her. No. Well, you okay, Grandma? Look at her. She's limping. All right. Yeah, there's Ben. So is Cyrax. Is that a fucking bed in the living room? That is. That is. You didn't see it? Yeah, they have their bed in the living room. In the background, you can hear, I think, Monday Night Raw or something. What's today's date? Hold on. Oh, that's yeah, that so... would have been Monday Night Raw. That would have been last week's Monday Night Raw on 7 This is fucking Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Like, what in the fuck, man? You got, like, old people laying up in that bed all day? Yeah. I think that's what they do. Ed just sits there. Ed sits there, takes his perks, zones out on that bed so he doesn't have to walk up the steps. Um, Cyrax is up there. They don't want to live in the same floor as Cyrax. Are you fucking crazy. <laughs> that might be why they moved hazard. the bed. That might be why they moved the fucking bed. Because he Get was like, you know, you know, it's better to live down here where we hear him a little bit less. But uh, yeah, yeah, man, he that's fucking, they. They took him out of the basement because I feel like I don't, I don't know what the problem was. Maybe he's getting too cold. You know. Um, then they put him upstairs. I feel like that would be bad for quarantining uh, the hive that lives on him like yeah. they, just, they just shower from the ceiling well see i don't is he right above the uh the living room like was his his room directly above it or maybe like near the back of the house the fucking I don't, the upstairs hallway structure is probably the most mysterious because we've seen videos from the kitchen we've seen shit like this from the living room can someone send uh, us a blueprint of cyrax's house so we can yeah. just, so we can discuss this we have a um, akron idol to go and fucking put yeah. in a museum it belongs somewhere, in a museum somewhere deep in the closet you will find you will find that motherfucking totem <laughs> and if you find it all that glory will be yours man watch it like 
be something fucked up, like it's lined with uranium or like well, you know, lead or, you know, something. That might devious. be why Cyrax looks the way he does, to be fair. <laughs> But I'm telling you, wait till the end of this video. Look, okay. I just love how his his attitude is just like, yeah, yeah, we already know that, right, cops? Like, I'm just, I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but it cracks me up. Okay. They're trying to get him in more trouble. Well, what's he doing? <laughs> Nothing. So, so there's no trouble from us? No, I know. No, no. Okay. What it is, I have a court date on the 24th, and they're trying to get me in even more trouble than what I'm already in. Well, what's that for? It's for simple assault. So I trespassed on our property. And when I swung the bat out and he stepped on public property, which he was able to get me arrested for. Yeah, okay. Because he was actually that will be used. I, mean, got... I, I hate to pause it, but that could be used against you. Exactly. When, exactly. Uh, when I swung the bat, it implies he swung first before he took a step onto his property. Exactly. Like, this is going to exactly. be an open and shut thing. He's going to have to take a plea deal or he's going to get fucking shafted. And it's true. Um, yeah. It's true, but he, if they even offer a plea deal. True, because he's a repeat offender. Mm -hmm. Now I've got threats with when he goes to jail that it's going to be worse for me. So, you know. How yeah. many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old that's woman? Yeah, oh, go back out. a sec. Go back yeah, with Ken. I don't even have him. Bet. Listen to him yeah. lie. Yeah, just kind of hang out. Oh, wait, a little yeah, bit more. Maybe I don't even have internet. He's go back. Yeah. Maybe yeah. you should stay offline for a while. That's what I've been doing. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of <laughs> that's what I've been doing. Yeah, that's actually... I don't even have internet. He's got some. It's his off of uh, VPN. Yep, no worries. All right, everyone's VPN. Good. Yeah, it shows everyone's... you where her mind's yeah. at. Right. She doesn't even know the fucking difference between a VPN and a hotspot. <laughs> yeah, well. They have to make the report through us. So yeah, I know. That's why yeah. we're like, dude, we're, you guys are photoshopping it. Like, we already know. Yeah, we're not doing Like, that. we already know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah cops. Yeah. Like, come on. We already you... all know that they're photoshopping. Like, William Glory Hole is clearly <laughs> photoshopping this body cam footage. Like, he's he's so confident, Cyrax, to be like, yeah, don't worry, guys. We already all know all this shit. And the cops are just like, get us the fuck out of here. I love how he crosses his arm and spreads his legs like he's a fellow officer. Yeah, he's like, yeah, like, you know, this is the situation here. We're down here, we're down here at 339, no, you know, we had a trespasser. Don't worry, it's under control. I'm not yeah. punching Sally in the face, guys. <laughs> no worries. No worries. What's, up, what's up, boys? How you doing, Jimmy? Like, I'm surprised he's not on a first-name basis with these motherfuckers by now. Uh, <laughs> How you doing, Officer Jimmy? Yeah, you're... Uh, <laughs> So do you know? Do you know what Officer Brown is bringing for the potluck next week? You yeah. will see you down to the precinct, Officer. It's like, yeah, chance you will because you're going to fucking this jail. Is, like, this is all fabricated by the cops just to get more break time. They're like, yeah. we'll, we'll create a locale and they'll call often, yeah. and we'll be able yeah. to go out there and rest. Yeah, we found <laughs> this kid at the orphanage in Akron. No one would pick him up, so eventually we just put him <laughs> with these two crackheads, and we just go there every time we want to go on a smoke break or something. We just go sit out in front of his house for five minutes, go like talk to him, laugh, and then then go away. I could. They're pretty smart. They're pretty I'm, smart. The Akron PD. I'm I'm of the camp that Sally found him like on a stroll home in the woods, and <laughs> just brought him in and kind of like the Grinch. You know, you ever see the Grinch with Jim Carrey? How yeah. they found him, and uh, they brought him in, and they're like, oh, you know, he's different, but we'll love him. We'll raise him like a person, and it just didn't <laughs> well, work out. Yeah, it did, definitely did not work out in this <laughs> case. Holy work. fuck. They tried their best. All he'd ever eat was Hot Pockets. Then there's this from today. This or is the best. Yesterday. This is the my, best. My lawyer I sucks. This, I put this entire video in my video the other day because this is just the best shit ever. Cyrax not only, after going to see his public defender, decided that this dude sucks, but also that he's going to try to fire him because the lawyer is not doing what Cyrax wants. The cops aren't doing what Cyrax wants. Nobody's doing what Cyrax wants, and it pisses him off. It really pisses him off. Yeah, dude, I... This this public defender is getting under his skin, and I think the fact is is that like public defenders, they're not gonna like contact you every day, updating you on the case. He's yeah. probably like interacted with this defender once or twice, and in his eyes, he's like this guy isn't doing shit because he's only working when I see him. 
Yep, so and uh, that's exactly, exactly. He thinks that, you know, oh, this dude's on my case. Well, now he's my personal bitch for the next few months. I'm just going to call him up every time I have a problem. And He's my new he, entertainment manager. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he um he says in this video too, Q, he's like, I know my family doesn't have money. We can't afford a lawyer. But what I need is someone who's going to take this serious. Someone who's not a fake ass troll. And it's like, dude, like you just said you don't have the money for a lawyer. You got to take what you can fuck get like what do you what do you want like that's that's where i think he wants he wants to some lawyer to randomly see this and go by god the atrocities that are going on in akron i need to get down there and help out chance this will make my career all i have to do is get down there and prove cyrax is innocent you're right dude he thinks that some high profile fucking uh oj style lawyer is gonna Ooh. swoop down from the heavens and yeah. save him johnny cochran's gonna rise That's from the it. dead walk his way <laughs> to akron <laughs> and be like <laughs> this is chewbacca yeah <laughs> i'm trying to think um god damn it i'm, I'm, if I'm trying the to scab think does thing. not fit you must quit i was gonna say if the baseball bat does not fit <laughs> in his tiny little hands then you must quit look um, at him he can't even lift up this baseball bat <laughs> how could see, he have murdered this man <laughs> you, see, you see he he played t-ball for a few years when he was younger but now he doesn't have the strength to pick up no, i don't know where i'm going with this but yeah it would be it would be uh like he wants a big lawyer to come in and save him he doesn't have the money he has nothing to offer but he just wants that shit you think he does you think he's gonna get it yeah yeah, yeah. weirdly enough he does but um it's just it's weird it's weird, Kiwi. Like he he makes so many demands in this video, acts like he knows everything. He's just fucking crazy. He does. We're all fucking idiots. No one knows the law like Cyrax. And real quick, before we watch this, I brought this up um, I, before the show with Kiwi. To, we were talking about how Toxic Dubs in the chat says begging while he's setting up his new one thousand dollar gaming PC yeah. from his best buddy Risky. Yeah, there's some dude Risky who's like on Cyrax's side, and he bought Cyrax. $1,000 gaming PC. Like, so just look on the screen, ladies and gentlemen. You see uh, see the Goblin of Akron sitting right there? Notable, notable predator. Good job. He's now allowed back on the internet. And, well, yeah. the thing is, do they have Wi-Fi? Because is this, he's just going to use his hotspot He'll to run that motherfucker? Spot. See... This is probably the biggest purchase he's ever been given. And yeah. it seems to be like totally legitimate because the, it's a PC. Yeah, um, it's um I, it's I, not I don't even understand a troll. why I don't understand why anyone would send this man something even like like why would you would you send him something to help him especially get back to talking to little kids? Like what, what People have you done it before, doing? bro. People have done it before. I I'll never understand it, but you're right. Like he's going to use this device to speak to children. So and yeah, yeah. Look at him. That, that's a sad goblin on screen. He can't mm -hmm. get. He's sitting here. Oh, woe is me! As he then, as soon as he turns that shit off, he jumps right back on the fucking internet. Um, hopefully, though, hopefully Sally finds out how much that PC's worth and can use it. <laughs> and can use it to pay <laughs> pay for Ed's perks. Yeah, I was about to say. I'm like Ed needs his medicine. Yeah, you know, Shiki baby. Yeah, Ed, Ed <laughs> and Shiki baby draw a lot of parallels. I need the pill gimmick. Yeah. Get me the pill gimmick. <laughs> I need my gimmick. I need my medicine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's I'm, where he learned it from. Ed was a massive fan of Sheik growing up. <laughs> I'm making this video to reach out for help. I am currently being set up by a bunch of internet trolls and the Akron Police Department. He sounds like a fucking robot. I need outside help. Kiwi, let this one play because for like three minutes. I gotta do something not a good defender at all. And besides, I think it's 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 um, good that people hear I this one. I have video <laughs> evidence but. that he is refusing to look at. Um. Long story short, what happened about three and a half weeks ago? An internet troll by the name of Aware of Myself, whose real name is Joseph Lawson, came to my house and cited a riot on my property. He gathered up eight of my neighbors from down the street, brought them here, and incited a riot on our property. My family told him to leave. 
several times, he would not leave. But he would not leave at all. Um, so I went out there with a baseball bat and I gave him a fair warning to leave our property or I would swing that bat at him. Because here in Ohio we have what's called castle laws and standard ground laws. And when he would not leave our property, I was exercising those rights. Because he was putting our family in danger at that point in time. He this is all completely false. Um, Rax, and even the police knew it. The Rax fucking basically just beat up a peaceful protester. <laughs> well, he didn't beat him up, but he swung on him. We had our neighbors getting in our faces. He was getting in our faces. He was getting in my face. He was on the sidewalk. This man literally walk up. Lost Frames door, fucking knows. He covers on Rax. Door and trespass. By the way, if you guys have not seen Lost Frames Cyrax videos, go give that shit a check out. Great videos, my dude. Great videos. Sorry, I'm on the wild property. Keep pausing, fucking idiot. The cops were called frantically to try to get him away from our property. He would not leave. When I swung the baseball bat at this man to get him off our property, he caught the baseball bat with his hand and stepped onto public property. When the police arrived, they questioned him. They said something to him, like asked him what was going on. This man only gave his name, his first and last name, but that's it. This man did not give them any more info. He only gave his first and last name. He didn't have to give this anything else. This man showed up to my house with his whole face covered, like he was wearing My like, family. <laughs> almost like what you would call like almost like a Taliban mask or a ninja mask or something. I love that. Sub, sub guy in a Taliban mask came to my house and incited a riot. He turned my neighbors against me. It's kind of, it's funny to see how we've traveled from the chance not dancing to save a man named Riot. And now we're here where chance is accusing someone of inciting a riot. Yeah, riot, <laughs> riots Riot are all the rage in the Cyrax community. Did, did you hear him just talk about the Taliban and shit? The Taliban yeah, I was just bringing that up. House? I'm like, this Taliban guy. Like, what the, the fuck? The Taliban dude? showed up at Chance's house. Even they're against him. Even the Taliban's like, nah, <laughs> this will never do. We cannot. We will not stand by and let this the beautiful city of Akron get terrorized by this. This is like <laughs> jihad against Cyrus. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's, he looks out there and he's like, "Oh fuck, oh fuck," you know, like Mom, he really Mom, thinks the that Taliban like, outside. <laughs> they hired, they hired terrorists. So to I, was, come and I thought Osama bin Laden was dead. <laughs> what, <laughs> what are they doing? What are they doing here? I pay my taxes, and this shit's not supposed <laughs> to go on in my sidewalk. They're not supposed to be terrorists on You're my supposed sidewalk. To serve and protect police. Why is the Taliban allowed at my house? I didn't invite them over. The Alhamdulillah, <laughs> we will stone seen, the goblin. <laughs> have you seen the body cam footage where the cops blame Cyrax for everything to his uh, his landlord? They're like, yep, Chance called them over probably to take the car. Could you imagine the landlord? Like, why is the Taliban here? Yeah, Chance probably called them over. We think he might be friends with them based on his internet videos. <laughs> Cyrax might be. I, I think they're all they're all together in Muj some way. Mujahideen Biz Marty. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Like, <laughs> This is honestly though you're right. This this plays into it. He he thinks that there's some sort of connection to a bigger organization. Um, he probably he does. He does. You heard how he started this video talking about how everyone's corrupt, they're against him and shit. Mm -hmm. He um he's firmly entrenched in that belief, Kiwi. Yeah. He's firmly entrenched in a lot of fucking beliefs. Uh, oh, yeah, he, he's he's all fucked up. This man, prior to him, yeah, the chat up, tonight is beautiful. Made threats oh, yeah, about coming here to my family and doing harm to me. This is the same man that a few months prior shot a bullet through my window and tried to kill me while I was on a live stream. 
the police came out here the next day and did not do anything about it after I was shot. They refused to take the bullet out and they refused to do anything about it. A couple <laughs> months later, I was assaulted by a man by the name of Nicholas Beagler, aka Music Biz Marty on YouTube. The cops and are watching this and quick write that down, write that down. About it. <laughs> My nose was busted from here down to where I, it wasn't broken, but like it was bloodied up. I had a large cut right here and my nose was just... You know what he's not mentioning though? What? That the he's, fact that he he's still himself? standing. Oh, that he's still, I'm still <laughs> yeah. standing. Even though he's sitting in his computer chair right now, I'm still standing. I'm still he's standing. He's a fighter. His and... Viking warrior blood will not let him stop. He's a fighter. He's a warrior. Uh, he has Viking blood. There's no, you know. Well, yeah, you they, are not you know, Viking like him. The Vikings used to fight with like axes and shit. Cyrax has his bat. You know, he he comes out as ready for war. And I bet you that was probably something that went through him. Like he was like, I feel the Viking blood coursing through my veins. Like <laughs> I have to go out and take down this invader. Like, I cannot let him take down my village here, dude. Um, I he remember didn't. the. I go on ahead. I'm sorry. No, and he didn't, and he didn't do it because he can't. I remember the night that we asked uh, chat to go off with Viking names for Cyrax. Yeah. And they were like, um, fucking Cyrax, Iron Scabs, like shit like that. <laughs> dude. I, I lost ones. it. There were some good ones. Yeah. Oh my God. There were some good ones. And the, that's, that's like, there's an endless meme with Cyrax. One day it's fucking Viking blood. The next day it's, he's going to be the drift King. The day after that, he's all about, fucking art. singing and art yeah, art, yeah. yeah it's, um it's some days you know now and now he's just trying to stay out of jail that's yeah. really all it is he's gonna say that you know he he's been told by his public defender he's been told by the police to stay off the internet and he's not gonna fucking do it because none of them are gonna get in the way of him mm -hmm. being that like you know that drift king the the greatest singer songwriter of all time i think the later voice in, of the people yeah, yeah. He, no one's going to stop him from that. And these cops trying to do it, they're the fucking problem. The, the public mm -hmm. defender, the fact that they're not going after the trolls, that's the problem. The problem isn't that Cyrax is still on YouTube and constantly stirring shit up. That's, he, he's allowed to do that. That's his fucking right. But all these trolls, nah, they need to be put a stop to right now. And when the cops don't do it, when the public defender doesn't take it serious, he's, he's pissed. Like, he wants a new public defender. He wants the cops basically to have to answer for their crime all because they will just drop everything and make sure that these trolls stop. Yeah. That he expects them to drop everything and make the trolls stop. He I don't does. think he has any concepts of the rapes or murders or fucking drug deals that go on in the yeah, streets yeah, well, of well, Akron well, Kiwi, that's every not, day. Kiwi, that's not important. That's not important. The fact of the matter is the trolls. <laughs> the trolls, Kiwi. The trolls. Like, come yeah. on now. You know, you know, this you fucking know, shit's been going on for six years. You know, Joe Schmo might be shooting people on the streets of Akron, but we need to figure out what CVG's up to first. You know, <laughs> we, need to, we need to take him down because he's, you know. Yeah, this guy, William Glory Hole, has been causing trouble around town, boys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we hear, it's like, oh, it's like, Chief, what, what happened last night? Well, you know, we had this, like, this horrible shooting over in, in the one district, but in this district, William Gloryhole was trolling Cyrax again. By God, he can't keep getting away with this. Like, this, we I, need to stop. We need to stop this right now. Put all just your manpower to find again. I just imagine him, like, fucking, no, oh, I lost my train of thought. I smoked too much pot. I feel you on that 100%. <laughs> Hold up, though. Before we get any further, Kiwi, I don't I don't, I don't want to – I hate putting you on the spot with this because I don't know if you have it ready, but I just noticed, you know, I'm, I'm looking at some of the some of the donos and everything, and mm. I kind of think we may have hit our uh, – I think we may have hit the vest goal for oh, this week. Oh, man. <laughs> I, I think you're right. I actually think you're right. Uh, guys, uh, we got to check first. We got to check. We I want to thank check. all you guys who have uh, supported – and if you guys haven't supported already, if you think of leaving a comment or a, a like, if you can support in any way, it would really help me and Kiwi to take out Cat on our day off. Yeah. Um, okay. You know, um, you know the the new games are coming out next month. I know Diablo Four and everything. Mm -hmm. We've been playing for a while now. It's already a month old. It's already a month yeah. old. You know the, the the support on chat has not been what it was when we're playing Street Fighter Six. Mm -hmm. And and um, and I don't know what's going on. <laughs> 
he's worn with L- he's worn with LTG now. You know that? <laughs> no, I did not know that. It's like Phil was like saying something about like LTG and LTG like messaged him. I was like, you clout chasing bitch. <laughs> like, keep my fucking name out your mouth. The only way I'll play you in Street Fighter is for five thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> and DSP oh, wow. got him streaming. He was like, DSP had a good point. He's like, there is no way in any universe that anyone would pay you five thousand dollars for anything <laughs> like what do you do to warrant five thousand dollars and i was like you know what phil you made a good point finally but good it's very true neither of you guys though deserve five thousand dollars for playing a fucking video game well chat uh we met the goal so here's oh, something fun here's something fun that we like to do for you <laughs> uh whatever guys, goals we, we got uh, we uh we we enjoy having you on the stream here we have fun, positive content. Uh, we keep, uh, I know all the all, all my detractors are in chat trying to keep a bad time. Like you're all fucking idiots. Like you're all fucking idiots in the chat. Yeah. Trying to mess with the people who are trying to have a good, fun experience here mm-hmm. and watch the gameplay. You know, yeah. they're all here to watch Street Fighter Six. They're not here to deal with all your bullcrap. So, yeah, I want to say thank you to everyone who supported it again. If you can uh, tip the chat in any way, I always stop. Yeah, right the Patreon's so like, a little light this month, guys. Patreon yeah. goes a little light where we haven't really yeah. met the Patreon goal yet. Um, don't know what that's all about. Yeah, he, <laughs> he he bitched about um, what's it called? He was bitching about uh, he's like he had like the lowest support stream, and he blamed it all on the new Amnesia game because you know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. People that's the reason. Show- so it was some asshole. I think it was a Snort Hogan video I saw. And they were like, uh, <laughs> he was like some asshole stream sniping me, sent a bunch of people over to the chat. We had we had high numbers. We had high numbers watching the chat, but we did not have good support. We had maybe no. two super chats, a membership, mm-hmm. the two tips. It's the lowest stream we've seen all year. Like what what am I That actually that actually reminds me. Have you seen Wings' fucking financial state lately? I have not. I have oh, I have not dude. kept up with Wings. It's a he shame. Made, didn't he just get didn't he just get his payout from the boxing fight? Did he already piss all yeah, that away? I guess but he, he made I, he, like five bucks from his latest stream. Jesus like, Christ. It's not sustainable anymore for him. Yeah, he's probably terrified. He's probably gonna be like, I gotta get back in that ring. I gotta yeah. get back in that fucking ring. Yeah, for real. Um, oh shit, Cyrus! Some- <laughs> <Shit. laughs> Do you, yeah, yeah, you want to get back into video? Or, uh- um, no, we can we can read these real quick. Okay, like I said we'll um bet. we'll see we'll see what we got we can get through it. Bet. Um, dysentery Gary with the twenty. Oh, you're right, dude. Damn. Yeah, dysentery Gary for the twenty. Not going to be here for the stream. May the Weezer be with you all. Thank you, dysentery Gary. Man, I said thank you in the chat earlier. And when you see this later again, bro, thank you. I hope you enjoy this when you watch it. You're making me want to throw on my M. Bison hat. This That's true. Hey, wait a minute now. <laughs> I think it might be time. Paperclip <laughs> enthusiast for the ninja. Thank you, Paperclip, you yeah. fucking goat. Thank you, brother. Keem's Jeez. Bogar with the five. Can't gift any memberships to stream, but I'll be back at it next week. Sorry, chat. Don't ever uh, be sorry. You never sorry. worry, man. You never worry. Just you being here chilling with the chat is all we ask, brother. And it's great to see yeah. you. It is good to see you. Never be sorry about that, Keems. Victor Dioro for the 10. Horror movie concept. Fatty is in his little cabin some night. There's a tape that's tapping at his window. He pokes his head out the door, and through the endless black woods, he hears someone whisper, full force. <laughs> he would, Fatty would shit his pants. He would shit his fucking pants. Uh, I would, you know, that little cabin in the woods has to be a scary place to be. I heard about that, Kiwi. I assume I'll hear oh more about God. it from Kiwi because he, he stays on top of the airsoft so Fatty stuff. And I can't wait to hear it, man. He, that that cabin he has, man, there's so many problems. He's at such a risk for, like, insects and mold and heat and, like, cold issues. There's so many problems. Oh, yeah. He should have just fucking rented a place. <laughs> Jesse Pigman for the two. That white bouncer guy really sucks. Yo, yeah, he does, Yo. Jesse. You're goddamn right he does. You're goddamn right. You're Jesse, goddamn he's, right. he keeps getting away with it. He and can't. He can't. He can't. He can't. He can't. Science. <laughs> Boogie fan. <laughs> Boogie fan for the two to wobble 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 w
that ambient noise after yeah. like, there's like a horse around him. Um Rose D for the ten. I sent my mom my shopping list, but I forgot to had effing eggs and I can feel the disturbance in the room and oh, the feeling shit. of disappointment. Also, Smokey scream please. <laughs> Pay up, Nick! No! No! No, I, I gotta be careful with this because I might have different quality and this might be way louder than it was on my phone. That was fine. Hey! You pay up now or I show my cock and I get you banned. Which is it, Nick? God, it's it's every time, bro. Every time Rose I'll never T. get old. Rose T, you fucked up. You missed you forgot the eggs and now mom's gonna pull off her uh oh what the fuck did they call it? It's a shoe. Chancla. It's Mexican for a chancla, yeah. Chancla. She's gonna get you with the chancla. Yep. I probably <laughs> I yep, can't believe that's Rose. Me. Yeah. <laughs> Rose. Thank you for that. Memento Mori for the two. Forgot to say, passed both my corrections test. Congratulations, my friend. That is yes, lit. That is what's up, brother. So you're going to be able to be a, con- a corrections officer. That's amazing. That's going to be lit. It's hard work. Don't, you know, don't let it eat them fuckers try to be your buddy. You be hard on them. You let Especially them know. Especially if you see Cyrax in there. Yeah, right. Clyde Cash's dog for the two. Who would win, Larson's scabies or Rax's bed bugs? Ah, uh, the oh, scabies. Boy. They're all powerful. They're, They're all more well fed. Yeah, the, um, the the bed bugs, all they can eat at is Cyrax's brittle corpse. Mm-hmm. Uh, that sounds terrible. <laughs> that sounds horrible. Um, but Larson scabies, he never showers, so they never go away. And Cyrax doesn't shower much either, but the difference is Cyrax actually has a shower. Mm-hmm. So, you know, Larson does not. So Larson's, there- Larson's scabies seem to be more of a structurized army, like they're a, uni- they're a unified front. They'll yeah. travel from his uh, nose, you know, to his forehead and... Just victory after victory. While Rax's scabs, uh, sometimes they'll lose the war. Sometimes they'll come back. Sometimes they'll migrate down to the face. It's just not as impressive. Yeah. You know? Yeah, Larson's, Larson's will take you out piece by piece. Cyrax's, oh, they're all over the place. They, they can't get in order. Yeah, for real. It's like that meme. Uh, Jesse Pinkman with the five. I know a pretty good lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> but I doubt Cyrax can afford him. Expensive guy, but a real miracle. <laughs> <laughs> Love he the can show. never. Keep working on it. <laughs> he need strap and neck brace. Honestly, that'd be the type of guy you would want to represent you if you were Rax. Is a Saul Goodman type, a sleazy, you know, willing to push the envelope, dirty lawyer. Um, you know, Cyrax has to remember what community he's in. The best he's getting is better call Crazy Paul. <laughs> <laughs> boogeyman. Yeah. Oh, boogeyman. Boogeyman, better call Boogeyman the Clown. <laughs> <laughs> Calm and relaxed for the five. After a long time at my current job and five years as a medic, I finally got a great job as a purchasing manager, so I can finally leave both jobs. That is lit. That is like congratulations on that. Keep calm and relax. I hope you enjoy mm-hmm. the show tonight, man. And I hope you enjoy that new job. Congrats, man. That's amazing. I'm always happy to hear people got new gigs. Hell yeah. Satellite that, that man, man with the five. Hey, smokes, we get a, hey, smokes, we get a Tony Chase rant, but he gets a <laughs> lisp every time he tries to say satellite man. Um, I right, let's see. Hey, how you guys doing? This is very <laughs> important in reference to this little pedophile goblin we see on screen right now. Satellite man has informed me that he thinks he's my race. He thinks he thinks that he owns my family's property. What do you own, little <laughs> goblin pedophile? You think you own you think you own Xbox or do I? Do you own that PC you own or do I? Do you own Ed's perk collection or do I? Do you own that that totem in your room? Or do I? Do, do you own? Do, do I own those head scabs? Or, or, or do you? Do you? <laughs> Miss no, Smokey's like afraid in the other room, cowering up. Yeah. <laughs> oh my we gotta, god! We got to watch some Tony tonight. Always got to check him out. We got Tony. We got Tony on deck. Shotgun man. Bowser really be asking to get fucked with more, huh? He, he always does. He put a fucking sign out front of his house telling people to stop <laughs> fucking with him. Do you know what that does? Like, you, you're just begging people to show up and keep fucking with you. He'll never learn. He'll never. This learn. is so. This is the worst <laughs> choice you could have made. This is like, oh, the tools aren't getting to me. 
<laughs> you yeah, know, like, oh, they're not getting to me. are nothing to me. <laughs> yeah. so let me just read this again in Bowser's voice. <laughs> this house has been targeted by cyber bullies and internet criminals. Please <laughs> leave me alone. I have a disabled mother to take <laughs> care of. I am leaving the internet. Earl Doobie. And... It's like, all right, first off, you, you doxed yourself again in front of your own house. I mean, Grant, I don't know if that's that's fair to say, but uh, he's leaving the internet, he says. Is he? Maybe by his own choice? I don't know. Um, but this sign could have. This sign. I'm a little just jealous said. right now, Kiwi, because I'm kind of hungry, and if this motherfucker's <laughs> getting to enjoy some 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 Henry Ford chicken, and I'm not, <laughs> I'm gonna be pretty pissed. This sign could have just said, "Beware of low cow," and it would have saved him like five minutes of writing the rest out, you know, because that's what it chalks it up to. Beware of low yep. cow. Yep, beware of the cow, man. Yeah, you're so right, though, man. That chicken, I'm dreaming of it. Yeah, yeah that that's boiled chicken, some boiled yeah. chicken with some a fruit cup, maybe some green beans, that sounds literally. <laughs> man, I tell you. That's, what's her name? Miss Doobie, she's a good cook. Um, I love that he gets so pissed whenever you talked about his mother. Do we can we oh I thought you were talking about the um the the mental institution. Oh yeah, we can't talk about this. We can't dude, talk no, about No, we can't we can't talk about this. Like what she dude, <laughs> Kayla oh god I fuck fuck She said we can't talk about this, dude. She has a restraining order against me. Yeah, this is a legal matter for the courts. When all the court stuff's settled, then we can talk about it. I groped her and you're not allowed to talk about it. Like that's that was that was his logic right there. Hey, I may have groped her, but don't you dare talk about that. Like, don't you fucking dare. Are you kidding me? That is that is my cross to carry. <laughs> yeah, I did that. <laughs> I got to give a big shout out to All Right Stingy for the for 20, twenty gift wow. membership. Yeah, Stingy man, you fucking goat. Thank you, Stingy. And I got to give a big. Always. A big thank you as well to Entropic who gave 10, Muda who gave 10, Hillbilly who also gave 20. My you guys God. are fucking awesome. And then the I also, there's out. there's one we missed. Dubious Dinkster gave five towards the beginning that I just Well, wow, Dubious, caught. man, thank yeah. you. A lot of people owe Dubious their, uh, their memberships, just like Entropic, just like Muda, just like Hillbilly, just like Stiggy, you know? Yeah, like, man. It's crazy. It's crazy how good these people OFS are. OFS and chats is stingy, not living up to his name. <laughs> that's that's yeah, very true. Isn't that nuts? <laughs> He's what like, a goat, man. Yeah, stingy's <laughs> been around. God, I can't even tell you how long now. It feels yeah. like since the beginning, man. You're goat. All y'all are goats. Um, and again, now Kevin Finnerty dropped a ten. Kevin yeah. Finnerty dropped a ten right now. Holy shit, thank Kevin, you, thank Kevin. you. And that's that's right in time when we're talking about Bowser. You can see Kevin's beautiful white Bowser profile pic. Just that's yeah, so, right. lit. <laughs> so lit every time. I love when, seeing that. When you're being attacked on a religious level. <laughs> but, dude, I've, done, is... <laughs> I've, I've said it before, bro. When that conversation was happening between Cow Wrangler and Bowser talking about religion and shit, I had to leave the room. I was like, whoa, this is rough. <laughs> like this, like, like she's just oh. crushing his whole, like his whole mind. All right. I'm going to go get a cigarette. Yeah. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm, I'm out of here. I sat, I just muted my stream, went outside and was like, fuck. Oh she, the, God. <laughs> fucking cow wrangler destroy him <laughs> yeah he um, was literally well, like bowser no one likes you yeah god so god doesn't sad. care about you yeah. and I, that's when i was like oh fuck i'm out of here like <laughs> now i didn't want to smokey's like this is kiwi's this is kiwi's channel I'm yeah, fucking out. Yeah. That was a. Hey, to be fair, that wasn't that wasn't too ever stupid. That was the one ten autism. I had no oh. obligation to stay there. That hey, was, that was that was still basically our podcast. Come on, you were there I mean, almost true, every time. True, true. What a, I wasn't what, on what the first episode. I don't think. No, and How honestly, was it was it was all Earl's fucking idea. I still can't yeah. wrap my head around that. He he hits me up and he knows that like me and you are our friends, and he's like, oh, you know. Fuck Smokey. Wanna do a podcast talking shit? Yeah. Like, wait, wait, okay. You yeah, can work out to a worse him. person. He made, he, made a, he made a killing, met tons of cool people, <laughs> you know. Made memes for days. <laughs> oh god. But god Simmons, bless him. CDA. Hey boys wanted to say it's so funny what Rax was obsessed with raccoon stealing Marty's food, especially since raccoon have a better mm -hmm. understanding of cause and effect and have higher IQs. That is facts. 
That is I really believe facts. there are coons out there with with higher IQs than him. Um, it's kind of crazy surprised. because what? <laughs> I'm not surprised. Sorry, yeah. actually, dumb little bastard. Dude, I tell you, man, I have seen some gnarly looking raccoons in my day, dude, and. And all of, of them, them look better than Cyrax. Yeah. I've, <laughs> I've even seen one. I'm not even fucking with you. This thing had three legs. The one was healed over. And it had like one milky eye. And the other eye was healed over too. So this thing's blind. And like couldn't do much. And it still yeah. probably survives. It looks better than Rax. It, you're damn right it does. You're damn right it does. You're fucking three-legged raccoon. <laughs> Pastor Adam. Arthur Montgomery from the Foz says, Rax fired his lawyer. I'm on my way to Akron to become his pastoral counselor. This story must go full circle. Well, you get it there, Pastor, man. You you, you whip Cyrak into shape. You know, do what Rocky Shoemaker can never do for Chris. Mm -hmm. You'll be the Rocky sh the Shoemaker of this verse. Mm -hmm. Nameless Clown with the two can't say Oga with a hard awe. Oga. <laughs> Ogre. <laughs> yeah, right. Yep. We did Oga. it. We did it. He's impressive. Liquid Ricky <laughs> Earl also went real schizo with Marty Weeds. <laughs> yeah. We'll go schizo everywhere. We'll go schizo matter. everywhere. You're guaranteed to get Earl schizo whether he's enjoying himself and ranting about Tawawa or he's devastated and talking about which pills he's going to take. Bussy uh, boy bonanza for five. Does anyone think Bowser's mom looks like Kirkland brand bar? Yeah, <laughs> she kind of yeah. does. She kind of does to be fair. She looks like old Barb if old Barb was still Snorlaxed out. Yeah, so. yeah, she's not that. She's not that heavy though, Bowser's mom. But I, I don't know. I don't. I don't want to get into the logistics. She's of got a. Mom's she's got size. a little cushion, you know. She's got a little cushion. You, y'all hey, can you fill in the other me. end of that. You know better than me on, oh, on dude, Mrs. Yeah. Bowser. Miss Bowser, she makes great chicken too. Kurt? Question Kurt. mark with the five. Hi guys. I'm not doing the best right now, but I hope tonight's stream will go well. Remember Earl Dube as Predator. I'm oh, sorry man, Kurt, well, I hope you're doing better soon, man. Uh, like I said, you always, everything always turns turns around soon, brother. Shit will get better before you know it. And when it comes to Bowser being a Predator, shit. You, you already know. You already know. You know he's the biggest Predator. I am sorry to hear that you're not doing hot, Kurt. Uh, things are going to look up, though, bro. I promise. Guy like you, things are going to look up. Kurt's got a great sense of humor. <laughs> he, he does. Really. He's literally, I and mean, what I love is like, he is, he, he is so like, he, he goes crazy with the jokes and yeah. he's, he's black. Yeah. So like, he'll get a little racially insensitive with it. It's, it's, it's just kind of hilarious. It's hilarious. <laughs> I feel uh, that. Rick Zilla, I just want to crack me off. Rick Zilla for the two. Bowser just wanted to pick up a cupcake, Smokey on. <laughs> Bowser just wanted to go to the fucking, uh, he just wanted to go to the bakery section of Kroger, <laughs> and sadly, look where he's ended up now. Yeah, he just wanted a cup. I just wanted a cupcake. Come on, <laughs> he just wanted that cupcake. I, I never groped anybody. Come on, Earl DP. <laughs> Earl dot exe does not compute. <laughs> Ghost face with the two. Guess who's back? Back with weed. Ghostface I assume back. it's Ghostface. Ghostface really trying to get into local wrestling recently. We're gonna have to throw him Ooh. in there so he can take down Bowser. Ooh, I love that more fans are being added. That probably mm -hmm. makes their fucking day, dude. That's yeah. really cool. Yeah, it's been fun. Uh, I see that we still have a ton of other people, but we've been at this Dono game for a while, so we'll do one more. Does that sound... Yeah, it's cool. I don't think we're going to be able to keep up. Wendt's um, ball swing for the 10. What's up, Queefs? Chase's jury should be filled with all the trolls he personally hates. That's. I think that would be like the most lit outcome, but... Obviously, they're gonna like the way it goes. Is, you can't even know who Chance is to be on that jewelry, but yeah, it'd be hilarious if they just went down the line. It was all the people he hated most. What is in the water tonight, chat? You guys are fucking killing me. Yeah, now uh, Wendy yeah. Ballschwing here calling us queefs. <laughs> God bless you guys. Wendy's got a way with words. You. Yeah, right. Uh, let's listen to more of this. More racks. Yeah, fuck it. We'll listen to a little bit more because he's just Hell like, yeah. this is all so unhinged. Oh, yeah, no, he sounds fucking hard. For hours. They still did nothing. And they did the same thing with this man. After this man harassed my family, I tried to show the cops. I, I tried to show the police 
that this man was making evidence was, you know, he had evidence that he, well, not him, but I had evidence that he was planning on showing up here to do harm to me and my I family. love when he, when, when you see him really open they his eyes and his eyebrows go up, you know he's jail. serious. Like, you'll notice it yeah. every now and again. Like, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, if you guys can't see me doing it, but maybe you can hear me doing it. Like, I'm open my, <laughs> opening my eyes real wide right now, like Cyrax does whenever he's like, hey, like, this is happening. You'll notice him do it a few times in the video. He always looks so funny when he does. Oh, yeah, yeah, and you're right. When he's trying to make a point, he it's like he's trying to mimic human emotion. <laughs> like I said, his eyes, like when you see his eyebrows just go to like the top of his fucking head. Look mm. at this, you'll see it. And that other eye attempts to focus in on you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and refused to see the evidence that I had. They refused to see the evidence that I had. I got arrested and charged with simple assault, and as a result, I had to go to court yesterday, and I found out that if convicted, I could be facing up to 180 days in jail because of this mess. The police here are very corrupt. <laughs> they really are, and I need anyone's help that can please step up and help me put a stop to this corruption as I am being set up. He's being set up. The police here labeled me as a 43. <laughs> they labeled my mom as a 43. There he did. He just did it right there, bro. Which he's again, they labeled my mom as a 43. Disturbed. You know why that is, Kiwi? Why? Well, because Sally, Sally called the cops up and said, hey, mm -hmm. we need to talk to you about something. And when they got there, she said, all right, or Ed got to the door and was like, hey, can you turn those cameras off that you guys have there? Have, you, have we watched that video on stream yet? And the cops were like, no, so. we can't turn these body cam cameras off because Sally and Ed have now been made aware that this footage all goes online. So now when they call the cops, they ask, hey, can you turn them off and shit? And when the cops tell them, no, we can't because it's for the cops' own safety, Sally, in this smug fucking voice, says, oh, then we can't talk to you then. It's like, what do you mean? Like, what do you mean? You just called them out here just to tell them we can't talk to you then because your cameras inconvenient us? Like, what? Because they know uh, it's going to go on yeah. the internet. They know yeah. all this body cam footage. Yeah, it's like, hey, dumb shits. Maybe don't keep calling the cops over with your dumb shit <laughs> that it won't have to go on the internet every time. You guys just can't help it. And they act like, man, like, I can't believe these cops can't turn off their cameras. Um and that's why she got labeled a 43 because she called the cops over and then they get there and she's like, oh, you have cameras. I can't talk to you. Does that sound like a fucking crazy person? I think it does. Yeah, it does sound like a fucking crazy person. And, and the thing is, is like Sally is also has plenty of more 43 behavior as well. Oh, yeah. You know, oh, yeah. fucking. Where do you think Chance gets it from? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um. Damn, them scabs the cops here were very quick to arrest me. No shit, because you hit a guy with a fucking bat. And this has been Why? going on for almost five plus years. So now it's not this six, not seven, five now. This is not a game. This is not me pulling some sort of prank because you pause it real quick, I I'm supposedly sorry. hate cops. Yeah, has it ever been a fucking game to he you? He says, that's what I was saying. He says, it's not a game. You remember when that cop the other week in the body cam footage told the landlord, he knows how the game is played. <laughs> he mm -hmm. knows how the game is played. So it is totally <laughs> a game, Cyrax. And you are fucking losing it tremendously. <laughs> oh, I love that. The police, the police know all about the game. The second that cop, those words came out of his mouth, I was like, this dude's a fucking troll. This dude's a fucking <laughs> troll. Like he would not say the phrase "chance knows how the game is played" <laughs> if he wasn't a troll. But I don't know. I have no proof to that. But I was just like, "Wow!" Yeah, like, no, it no, made you're me right. think. Like, you're right. Because I, I no. did. I ever tell you that? Like, I I put it in one of my videos last week. Um, we were talking about the riot and Vita call earlier. That's where it comes yeah. from. Somewhere in that call, Marty told Cyrax, "Cyrax, you know how this game is played." And as soon as that cop said that, I was like, "Wait a minute! Wait a minute! I've heard oh, that before. I've heard yeah. that. So I don't know." Okay, yeah, that may, that makes a little bit of sense. That makes a little bit of sense. But the, wasn't that lady called? She was the one who called the cops. The landlord. So like, it's legit. Yeah. So it's an actual cop, but I feel like 
there are cops that are now up to date on the lore and interested That's what in I'm the saying, fucking yeah. lore. I don't think it's a guy who was a troll and got a job just to mess with Cyrax. I think it's the cops being so fed up with this and seeing so much of it that, that now they know what's going on and they're yeah. like, yeah. If yeah. you'd been called out there once, wouldn't you look up a fucking documentary on him? Yep. Just yeah, to know what's going so on? Shit. Oh, you found fucking hundreds of videos now. It's ridiculous how much shit there is out on Cyrax. This is very real. The cops here are corrupt. I have been bullied and cyberbullied for over the last five and a half years. Every time we call the police to ask for help, they don't do anything. They give us the runaround. They give me and my family the runaround of, oh, there's nothing we can do. Stay off the internet. Get off the internet. Get off the internet. Oh, change your phone number. Do this, do that. But none of that does any good. Because you never These actually people try. that have been bullying me and my family and harassing us have stolen stuff from our property. These people have done things such as, like I said, stealing stuff from our property. They well, that's down because, our back dude, fencing, they, which the, the, the trolls, you got to give them credit. They found a... Uh, they found a pretty ingenious way to get people to steal stuff from Cyrax without actually having to go and steal stuff themselves by just hmm. putting it up to putting it up for sale on Craigslist. And that's probably where the cops have such a hard time dealing with this because they're like, it's not like these people are actually showing up and just stealing stuff. Like, it's people showing up who think this stuff is free. So it, it's such a weird gray area. <laughs> like, yeah. what do we do? Do we go after the people who showed up and took it, or do we go at, like, what? Do, what the fuck do you do in this situation? There's really nothing you can do like the people who are there to get the stuff um you know it, it's it's very murky on if they're even committing a fucking crime or not i, oh, I don't know <laughs> could they be charged I, don't, I mean i don't know i think the people on craigslist probably are <laughs> the people posting it but i don't know but then again like how like, how oh, would yeah, they yeah. enforce that like what law is that breaking I feel like you know you, the the false false theft i don't i don't know Fraud, yeah, uh, Urban maybe Spelunking fraud. Act. The Urban Spelunking yeah. Act. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's it's all a part of the Urban Spelunking Act. Well, I think I think that's basically it for Rax. Yeah, Rax um, always doing his own thing. We will have to see what happens. There's always going to be more of him. Mm -hmm. We got Daniel, uh, Tony, oh, Christ, Daniel. Uh, yeah, Daniel just got out of the psych ward. Daniel, I'm back, back out, everyone. Oh, Daniel Larson Curator. What a channel, man. What I a love channel. Daniel. I love that. I'm going to link Daniel Larson Curator. Hey, if you want to keep up to date with Daniel Larson, it's guys like him and you go check it out, bro. Just a piece of Paramedic sign. last week lied. <laughs> Mental hospital didn't put me on the. Dude, he. You know what we should okay, do? Because so I think Kiwi, this is perfect on. for this week in particular. Mm -hmm. We should just read his community post because he put so fucking many up there, and I'm telling you, they are crazy. They are like, like I, I have like screenshots about like 200 of them. Here it is. It literally, the curator <laughs> posted a bunch of them right here. Really? Like, like yeah, yeah. Let's see. Like Daniel, Daniel. Oh, if you know anything about this guy, if you thought Bowser's schizo posting was crazy, I mean, he has he doesn't have shit on Daniel Lars. Really, like nothing at all. Daniel uses his YouTube community post as a Twitter account, and yeah. it's just the shit he posts. Like this one here: Stop sending me texts about my dog from the subreddit. Do the, or I'm sorry, stop sending me texts about my dog, the subreddit dog nap from me, or I will kill you. Like wow, like Daniel, like Daniel's just like no, like all it's no more fun and games. You send me a mean text, you're done. Yeah, like game over. Coming through the throat. He's one of the few locales that will make open threats against people, and not only on the internet, but also in person. He oh, yeah. has told a crowd of people before that, like, if this one guy doesn't get away, that he's going to Minecraft everyone there. Like Daniel that's, said that's some pretty wild scary. shit to tons of people. Yeah. Yeah, he has an idea. It gets worse. Every day it oh, gets yeah. worse. Yeah, I don't know exactly where he is right now, um, but... 
You know what? And this is something to bring up here. I don't know. Are you, can you go to Daniel's channel? Because I saw something the other day that was real interesting, Kiwi. Oh, what's um, the name of his channel? All you type in is uh, Daniel Larson. Oh, it's right there. NYC13. Okay, okay. I used to be sub, but I had to unsubscribe. I don't blame much. you at all. I don't blame you much. at all. Um, go then over, over to lives. Tab? Over to his okay. lives. So there was a live stream he did where, huh. yeah, it's the, that one right there. This is just interesting to me because on this stream, he's taking a walk and he runs into a woman who must have like used to know him before his grandmom died and shit and knew him before all this. And like, you can see like, like how she's like, Oh, Hey Daniel, whatever. And he immediately starts going into delusion shit with I'm famous now, yada, yada, yada. And she's just like playing along. It's just a weird thing to see Daniel encountering someone from like his previous life before he was a local. Cow. Yeah, that will be interesting. There he is, walking along the path. Now sprinting because the shadow people are after him. Alrighty. My popular... Well, first of all, I can say that I think the nuclear airstrike attack was fake um i don't know about that <laughs> i don't know about that i think that that message was fake that we were receiving i don't know um I feel pretty also feel pretty radioactive right now also what i can say and what i know right now that's going on is um i was manipulated into doing the Pinterest framed and blackmailed. You were not blackmailed. I was getting Pinterest. death threats um, over it. People were showing up to my property where I was living and was showing up on property. Talk to Cyrax about it. He can help you figure it out. Here it goes. Oh, hi. Sorry, buddy. Um, you remember me? Yeah, it's been a long time. I know. How's it going? Well, I'm famous now. Yeah? Oh, my yeah. God. I've, Tell me about it. So I'm a singer-songwriter. Oh, pause my workout here. Singer-songwriter? Yep. I have three songs now on the radio. Three songs? Mm -hmm. On the radio? What station? Um, well, I don't know exactly what stations. I've been made in New York. And I'm on iHeartRadio. Okay. And um, I have my all my music on Spotify, like all distributions, everything. Okay. That's yeah, so it's been a while. Yeah. How old are you now? I'm 24. 24. Oh my god, living? that's so I sad. I am currently homeless. That's so sad. He's 24. He looks like he's fucking 40. Yeah, he's he's about to start telling her about how he's homeless and shit. Like this is I don't know why when I watched this yesterday because he was live when this was happening. <laughs> I was like, this is fucking. This was. I don't know why I said I was playing um MLB when I was listening to this and I had to sit down my controller and go let me just I, I want to focus on this because I've never seen Daniel mm. like talk with someone who doesn't know about the shit that's going on. Yeah, how could they not know about his recent antics? I don't know. Like I said it, maybe it just doesn't get around as much as we think it does because like on yeah. the internet, yeah, but I don't know. Yeah, no, you're you're right. Okay, but I am making it so. Okay. And I'm going into studios, which is only making me more he's money. A famous so. singer songwriter. I'm pulling up and out. With okay. music on the radio, it? but he's homeless. I took the train. Just coming to Thornton just because, or what? Coming to Thornton. Oh. Sleep. Where are you headed? I'm just heading to the like up north, just kind of walking around right now. Yeah. All right. Where I heard your grandma died. Yes. It's hard. Yeah, it is. I was sad when I heard that too. You know, your nana and I had a good relationship. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 We were just talking about you the other day. But okay. Yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah. Nice seeing you. You too, Danny. Be careful, all right? All right, we'll do. Okay. Wow. Okay. It's just so weird, right? Like. Like, I don't, I don't even know what to really say about that one. It's just, like, the lady's probably just so lost. Like, what does he mean? He's fucking famous. He's this, that, the third. Um, 
just, just yeah. Like he, she, she has probably scabies. had to know. Yeah, she probably had to know that there was stuff wrong with him, even like back in the day. And seeing how he turned out now probably had to make that girl go like, "Damn, like that sucks." No, user four eight four one makes a great point. We were just talking about him the other day. Equals, we found you on TikTok. That's a great point. That's a great yeah. point. Wow. So they probably knew the whole story, though. They probably did a deep dive and knew all about what's going on. Um, Fuck. Obviously not about the scabies, or she would have just kept on walking. Did but... you hear him say that the Pinterest was fake? It's like the Pinterest, what? I think, was like something that happened before he had like a lot of yeah. eyes on him. I'm not sure, but that's where he was like keeping pictures of little girls and shit. It's a yeah, big part the of Pinterest like, is pedo. fucked up. Yeah, the Pinterest is fucked up, and he'll constantly make excuses as to why it wasn't his when it was totally his. Mm-hmm. No, six six six. That's not a poo toucher. That's literally someone who knew Daniel before he was on TikTok. Yeah, it seems like, like that's someone because she even said like I heard your grandmom died. Seems like mm-hmm. um, cause, like she started by saying like you know do you remember me? You know um, it's been a long time stuff like that. I think that's just someone who who knew him previously before. Someone all who went probably down. worked at the Tennyson Center. Yeah, yeah. If I was to guess, uh, and uh, you know they're working out, so obviously they don't know anything about lol cows. Um. <laughs> It's probably pretty new to the whole lol cow thing. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> but uh, it, it you know it's sad. It's sad because I didn't know he was twenty four. He's not that much older than me, and he looks awful. Yeah, yeah. He's um, he he looks like he's aging rapidly. It's 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 a shame, but when you live the life he lives, it's it's bound to happen that way. Yeah, Daniel, the streets though, will age you even without the drugs, apparently. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You don't need drugs. All you need is to uh-huh. be a little bit crazy. It's cra- It's What's crazy to me is that he doesn't do drugs, you know? You'd think that all he's that time he'd spend. Yeah, and I don't think he has. I don't think he's, like, one of those homeless people who's, like, in tight with other homeless people. You know, he's kind of like a lone wolf. He uh, doesn't really interact with any of the other homeless population. No, so yeah, he does his own offers. thing. Yeah. Because he's famous. They're just homeless people. He's famous. He's just working yeah. it out. You know? Yeah. Now, all the other people there, like, he'll sit like a homeless encampment and just look around and be like, God, like, sucks to be all of you. <laughs> sucks to be you guys. <laughs> like, I'm over here just getting lit. My career's <laughs> taking off. You guys are here homeless as he, like, sits down for bed, <laughs> you know, to fall asleep next to the trash can. And he's, <laughs> you know, that's the way he thinks. Yeah, absolutely. I've always wondered where Daniel likes to lay his head. Because, you know, homeless people have, like, favorite spots. Like, one of them will like benches, and the other one will like... I, th- uh, I feel like he's, um, he stays on the move. Like, I feel like he, he constantly goes to a new place. I don't know why. It just seems he's like... He's got to sleep, though. Where, where is he sleeping? Well, I mean, like, he, he never sleeps at the same place. Oh, like, he'll go okay. from, like, one spot to the next, to the next, to the next... Who knows? Okay. Like in New York, I wondered. That was where I was curious. Like, where the fuck was he sleeping in New York? He loved the subways in New York because, like, aren't really? they heated? Like, they're kind of warm. I've never been down the subway. In I've New York. never been in a subway either. But um, I think but, that that was kind of part of it was that he could get some form of warmth down in the down in the subway system. It seemed like he was staying around the financial district, around like where the twin towers were. So hmm. I mean, obviously, it's not not every area there's like terrible but that's probably one of the better ones he was at i don't like know a though. fucking teenage mutant ninja turtle he just pops mm-hmm. up out of his sewers and i wouldn't be surprised crime. he looks like i mean I, that's just that's just being mean to the ninja turtles now <laughs> he looks fucking it's like, it's like master splinter after like <laughs> mange a little bit like they just kind of look like a rat yeah dude what else ratatat rat kind of looks yeah. like a ratatat <laughs> Uh, let's see what he doing? Yeah, let's see what he has to say about this interaction real quick. So, yeah, back to what I was saying. Oh, he doesn't mention I, he I doesn't know mention that um, Joe Biden has gone public. Uh, Dude, if I was that wait. woman and walking away <laughs> and he's like, okay, Joe Biden <laughs> has gone I mean. public. That's exactly it. Yeah. I was like, bro, she's probably walking away like, man, like he's <laughs> fucking crazy. He turns around. All right, so back to what I'm talking about. Joe Biden, do you hear what he's about to say? It's not like just something normal about Biden. It's it's hilarious. If you can go back like man, five, ten seconds. Okay, okay. 
about um, terrorist threats towards me. I am- so Joe Biden's talking about has disclosed terrorist threats towards Daniel Larson. Yeah, because oh, Joe shit. Biden made made that uh, he made it known that he knows about these terroristic threats and that mm. they need to stop. <laughs> So Biden's not the one making them. Biden knows that they're being made, and Biden's going to put them put them to a stop to help out his good friend Daniel Larson. I don't think. I don't, just imagine that. Just imagine that this gets to Biden's desk. We don't got to imagine it. It's happening right now. Oh, yeah. like, Biden just put out a tweet saying, like, people were people were making <laughs> fake tweets from like the FBI, the pictures <laughs> of Daniel saying, like, if you see this man, let us know. And Daniel's like, if this is real, I'll kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> he was going crazy, bro. Like, Dude, we gotta check. We gotta check his community okay, posts. Okay. They were so good, Kiwi. He looks so, so vampiric good. in the daylight. He does. Like he was. Right, he was just get getting all fucking. He was getting all fucked up this week, Daniel. Right, Am I, I'm. <laughs> Am I even? All right, so yeah, I screenshotted that when we first started the show because I was like, I'm gonna need that. Am I even really talking to the grill Grace Vanderbilt anymore? <laughs> I'm bankrupt. I need an advocate. He's falling apart. This is this is the arc of Daniel just losing his fucking mind. I should he didn't get enough views me. last night. <laughs> didn't get enough expected. views. My phone died. Live stream is rescheduled for today at noon Mountain Time. Sorry, everyone, about the live stream. I fell asleep. We need to get in that recording studio. I love fast. how that has so many likes. <laughs> I just oh, received look at that more one. information on Bob and I. Look at that one below it. I'm, I'm becoming a- angry at Grace for her harassing <laughs> me. Grace, what the fuck? Like I he's just, just ima- uh, he's trying to I just see, love you. I see this uh, this troll just like going into him under the guise of grace. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> what's up, dickhead? What's up, yeah. Daniel, you fucking bitch? And he's like, Grace, stop. Wait, what's this? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the chat can't see it because I'm in the way. Look. <laughs> oh my god, I Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> President of the United States. Stage 46. Hi, Daniel. <laughs> Sorry about the attacks against you. We have caught off all the attacks. I'm doing more of a Clinton than a Biden. I don't go with Biden. Cream, we were actually cream. after a fugitive with the same name as you. What did he say? What did Larson reply? Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Message received. Okay. You Thank have you, been Jeff. heard. Thank you, Jeff. <laughs> Oh my god. This is fucking nuts. Yeah, this is great. This is a good call. Ah. <laughs> oh man. Okay, okay. Uh check out new song Merry Go Round. Grace Vanderwall told me to block all people. <laughs> like Look trolls. like trolls. <laughs> Get we are got, got ready to pick up the pace. This is creepy. <laughs> That is oh. creepy. The other one says, I learned this month. What is it? What was that? That was that one was weird. I learned this is, month that learning is not easy. It's a great line, Daniel. Never, uh, give, never up. give up. We all make mistakes. I'm about to get a promotion. One more cameo sale, and I'm booking the next recording studio session myself. Check out my cameo profile. Check Thank out you, my Warren, cameo. For, <laughs> Thank you, Check Warren, out my new song. We need up. more hype. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look how we spelled hype. <laughs> This is all from the past 24 hours, guys. I'm sorry for posting about Columbia Records because I don't actually hate them. I call bullshit on that. Daniel's told me personally that he fucking hates them. I want to be on American see if Got Talent. Juicy. Live two-hour concert tonight. Who's, who's posting my here? Him or Cyrus? My situation is my fault. No shit it is, Daniel. <laughs> what do we read the comments on that one? <laughs> oh, Did yeah. No, no, you're right. Only partially, Daniel. The tro- what are you fucking saying, dude? Fuck you. True. No, not true, Daniel. And that person needs to get fucked. <laughs> Acceptance phase. Yes. That's a good one. That's better. That's it's part of all part of the process. Let's oh, let's get man. down here a little bit. Everything he had some good okay. ones, but it's the past few days. I'm telling you, Kiwi, I was crap. No, I have autism. Man, I would love to see the co- world of t shirts and Michael Quinn are making issues and beef with me. When you are broke, go to Hoboken. That's what I have. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to see. You said autism, you said wasn't, autism real. wasn't real. 
It's just it's a name. It's just a name. <laughs> okay. So Daniel Autism Larson. I'm praying for the Pray cure right now. Cure. Same. Same. <laughs> same, same, bro. bro same. same. Please tell me you respond to same. Oh, heart. <laughs> oh, my God. You replied. Thank you. It's Daniel. He'll reply to anybody. What do you fucking. It's except okay, for Daniel, that guy. We still hug. love you. Heart. <laughs> You got a lot more than that, Daniel. <laughs> and he doesn't respond to that one. Fuck that guy. Fuck that last guy. What do you mean you got a lot more than that? You got a lot more than just fucking autism, Daddy. Daniel does not agree to that. Oh my god. Some... <laughs> so let's well, let's see. Let's see. I'm ready to receive help. This world of t-shirts. Tonight I need five thousand people in my live stream. I bet you he got like maybe a thousand, maybe. He gets good numbers sometimes. When he's doing crazy shit, if he's just on like a nature hike, people are like, oh, fuck this. True, true. Tonight I, I messed up with Columbia long. Records. Yeah, he's like, got this Columbia Records beef. We're still not past Tonight, oh, 24 go up, go up. hours. Wait, wait, I have a good idea. Hold up, go up a little bit. A little bit more. Uh, a little bit more. Yeah, tonight we will make the best of what we have now. Speaking of Daniel Larson and best ofs, uh, me and Kiwi, yeah. I believe in the next few days, got the best of Daniel Larson dropping. If you guys like the best of um, like Cyrax, King Cobra, and all, we got a new one dropping on Kiwi's channel on Daniel Larson. You guys are going to love that shit. Oh, yeah, it's going to be awesome. And I, the tapists are already loving it. Like I said nice. before, tapists have, been, tapists have been loving it. So I think we've already we've already done our job. You know, nice, nice. But I, I see it, I see it, uh, do well because that fucking video, I, I edited it together, and it was like twenty four hours to edit. Yeah, I, I had to fucking, I thought my computer would melt. Fuck. It was just, yeah, it was just so wild because we had so much TikTok shit, and that's like you oh, gotta yeah. do an edit for that, and uh, it was crazy. So I think it's gonna be one of our best ones, is what I mean. I agree, man. I can't wait for people to see it. But mm -hmm. just to get them hype, we'll keep reading this shit because it's so good. I just wanted to say that when I saw the word best of next to Daniel Larson, I was like, oh shit. Not that makes real. a lot of sense. For real. I would get like to collaborate to with Luke Bryan on a song. He he put up a video the other day. Have you heard about that whole like thing with uh like try that in a small town? The whole controversy about that shit. What, no, what? What's okay, I don't want to really get into it, but Daniel Larson is on Jason Aldean, so whoever it was, he was like, whoever doesn't like that song, whoever doesn't like that song, I don't know. I love it, but I don't know where that video is. Oh, so what's Besides the me? what's the beef? Like, what's uh, the... I don't know. They say it's a racist song. I think I haven't no. looked into it any more than that. Oh, I get it. Try that in a song. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah, Daniel. Like, I decided to cut ties with Bob. <laughs> In hopes, in to, hopes get to get everything with the label. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck Bob. Fuck Bob's It's Bob's fault. Thing. It's always Bob's fault. This motherfucker Bob's sabotaging his career. Uh-oh. And below, it's not just Kiwi. Bob. Grace, it's also great. Yeah. yeah Grace Manor <laughs> yeah. wants to cut ties with me because of how bad everything is. Oh, my God. Oh, What people God. say? Dan, I just got word the trolls are impersonating Grace. She's all right and not encouraged. I know that. Fuck you, Dan. He this guy's know. actually like telling you the truth. He does not know that. Ah, oh, shit. It always goes back to the top. Um, I know. I noticed. We'll wait till we see a real good one to click on the comments for. Oh, man. Live concert. More cameo. All Got labels. It. Take, take it, it or leave, leave it. it. I lost my $200 for recording studio to Bob. What an asshole Bob is. Here it is. Yeah, we're getting back here. Bet, bet. There seems to be somebody impersonating what? me on purpose telling fans to not donate to me, and that's why I'm getting very few sales. I, I don't think that's it, Daniel. You know, I think it's because you, in the previous post, you said I decided to keep the price of cameos at three hundred dollars because someone brought bought one for that price. <laughs> so because someone did it, that's what everyone has to pay now. Daniel's a hell of a businessman. Here it is. The reason I had to change the price of Cami is no one was buying them at 10. I raised the price to 300 and one person bought it. Enough to get me back on my feet. That person set a fucking terrible precedent. Good job, guy. God, it was probably like fucking Michael Quinn or Grace. <laughs> my entertainment assistant, Warren, has even thought about taking an emergency trip to Colorado to help. Well, I hope Warren gets out there. 
I think it's funny that he believes that there's like this team working in some place somewhere all on his music career. Like yeah. Warren goes in at 8, 8 a.m. every morning, clocks yeah. out at 5, all working yeah, on Daniel's Warren music. Warren goes into his office in this yeah. big city. He doesn't know what yeah. city it is. It could be New York, could be Chicago, who knows. But he walks into this big office building, sits down, immediately gets on his computer, and the picture this is the background is Daniel. And everything is like files <laughs> on what Daniel's doing today, files on what Daniel did yesterday. Mm-hmm. And he's just legally there, just being paid to make sure Daniel's all good. He's done with managers. He only has assistants now. No yeah, more managers. Yeah. No one can be above him. No. No. Because of everything in its current state, I can no longer do my career. I am <laughs> bankrupt. <laughs> After the car chase with Bob and I in the car through the streets, every time he thought that someone was looking at me in the car, he told me to duck down. Emo you gave him PTSD. Shield. You gave what do you? God damn it, Daniel! I'm surprised he let you back in his fucking car. The last time you got in his fucking car, you beat the shit out of him, Danny. Yeah, that's more of an issue on Bob's front. I'll be honest. Bob, yeah. Bob's a dickhead if he let Daniel back in the car. <laughs> no, you got to get out of the car. I'm bleeding. Back when the fan and the car chased Bob and I at a high-speed car chase through the streets of Denver on my way home to Golden, where I was staying out on the streets and Golden, where I reported it to Columbia and Grace, they said it was too extreme to be true. How can I work with somebody that doesn't believe me? <laughs> he, he reported it to Columbia Records and he Grace believe, Vanderwall, and they're like, oh, that's, not, that's too extreme. My, <laughs> these fake entities. Don't believe my fake story, you know? Like, what the fuck? Nah, this shit's just, I I get where they're coming from. It's too extreme. Like, high-speed car chase, Daniel. Come on, this is Columbia Records. Just calm (laughs) down there, (laughs) bud. Yeah, no, Columbia Records, they're always standing by their boy Daniel. Grace Vanderwall was demanding that I get an apartment by September. It said I could try, and she said it better be done or she's breaking up with me. Yeah, I'll say this. The person who's pretending to be Grace <laughs> might be getting Daniel to try to better himself, you know, get housing, do this, do that. So there could be a light at the end of the tunnel, but that pro- that person's probably just there to fuck with him, obviously. Um, Absolutely. But even Daniel's starting to realize, hey, they're making me try to do good things now. This person's fucking fake. This person's <laughs> fucking fake. You know, They're not telling me to, like, scream at people and stuff. This person must be fake. You're right. It's like they're the only people he thinks are fake are the ones that are trying to like genuinely help yep. or get him to do the right thing. Well, then mm-hmm. they're fake. The reason why I was leaking the screenshots of Bob's messages when after he told me to stop and after everyone, including the label, had asked me to stop was because I needed the truth out about what's going on with Bob and I and how serious everything was. So even though your label and your actual your actual father figure, Bob, told you not to do it, you decided fuck that like the the people need to know how serious this is right now he needs to know that he is being heard jesus christ yeah he does he needs to know he's being heard the vanderwall team they need to let him back on now um or he is going to he's going to continue to schizo post on his community wall (laughs) (laughs) speaking of one schizo jumping over to uh Another one oh, who yes. we like a whole lot more than this little piece of shit is the goat himself. The goat himself. Hey, how you guys doing? Oh, wait, yo, yo <laughs> I just realized something, Kiwi. I've been wanting to show you this for weeks, and I forget about it every week on the show. Okay, chat, okay. everyone who's in chat right now, look, you got to watch this, because this is something that people have brought up to me, and I've never noticed, and it's the funniest fucking thing when you notice. So if you can, please avert your eyes through the screen. Kiwi. Do you see Tony Chase's name on there? Tony Chase, not gay, not never. Is this where you're about to imply that you just discovered it's a double negative? No, no, no. Oh, because I, I heard Tony- that you would just piece that together a while back, and I'm like, I did, that's, I did. But at oh, the same time, you know what Tony means to say, and it's because he doesn't want to be like yeah. he doesn't want to be misconstrued as gay. You know, you know how Tony doesn't like when people say they're his race. You know, he's not their race, he's not their religion, and he's also not gay, right? We all know that yeah. Tony's not gay, Kiwi, right? Never. Can you click on playlists? Of course. Um, playlists. Look at the last oh, one. Oh, no. Best look. No. <laughs> move, your, move your guy real quick. 
No. Best looking males <laughs> in the world of beauty. 274 videos in that motherfucker. Best looking males. My <laughs> business and my international business plan. These are, this is gold. These are playlists he's created. <laughs> Oh my god, I couldn't Smokey. Believe that he, yeah, I couldn't believe that he had a playlist of the best looking dudes. <laughs> not gay, not never. I'm curious, who what's he into? Let's see here. What's what's his top right, so ten sexiest Mojo. men of all time? Top ten sexiest men of all time. The perfect man. Not gay, not then never. there's Tony. Not never. Then there's Tony here. He's on the list. <laughs> he put himself <laughs> in the list. Let's go, Tony. Let's fucking go. What is this? A recording? Oh what's the recording of? Cruel Summer. Um, there's women in here too. What? There's Cantor's Deli. Like, the, this is a fucking Deli. food reviewer. Trip to LA. This is one of the fucking. This is one of the best looking men in the world to you. <laughs> oh. Peak male form right there, Kiwi. You see, here's what you don't understand. Here's what you don't understand. This is good. This MLB is MLB best plays of 2018. Eleven things Jewish friends oh, no. just get. Wow. This is, this is Pope so resigns, weird. barbarian what brothers. What are the benefits of having straight teeth? <laughs> yeah. This is not just about males. This encompasses all of Tony's interests. The beginning of it was about males. Maybe he just likes, maybe he sees this guy and he's like, wow, the guy at the beginning of this video is one of the best looking males in the world. I gotta click on that. Oh, I've seen Keep It Real by Club Doom. I thought he added that to, the, to it too. Dude, I thought he was jamming out is... some Club Doom. This is the perfect case study into Tony's mind because it's so schizophrenic that it starts off with best looking males in the world and it morphs into dentistry. Dentist, yeah. Plays, and, like, comedy skits about Jews. I, I don't know what else is in here. <laughs> Six signs you're dealing with a toxic person. Margaret like, Thatcher's last prime minister questions. What is this? Avoiding narcissists, narcissist, narcissist. Uh, Straight pride parade. Straight pride. Eleven this non-obvious signs someone oh, is now wealthy. Now more of Tony's videos. What is this? So wait, is this a different they, channel? Oh yeah, that's his Royal Howard Hughes channel. That's Tony's older channel. What? Where you can find tons of old. Ah, <laughs> oh, four years yeah. ago. Wow. Let's see what's popular here. Howard Hughes and Doris Duke son. So. Oh, okay. This one looks <laughs> wait, good. Wait, what? So it's he, his dad isn't Walt Disney anymore? No, it's Howard Hughes. Oh god, I'm I'm gay hate crimes on straight men. Oh yeah, y'all yeah, doing. <laughs> <laughs> this is a side of him I've never seen. Yo, look yeah, at how yeah, yeah, do. Hey y'all oh, doing. Bro, hey, somebody say Mr. Hughes? This is before his teeth were a fucking mess. Kiwi, don't Every ever way. stop this video. Just let it play. Let it just keep letting it play. Every Wednesday, 6.30, folks. big man... The communicate it's gonna be big lawsuits. And I'm flying on the spruce goose kind of an interesting thing too, huh? Wasn't Howard Hughes like weird as fuck? I don't know. See, on the spruce goose, there's all kinds of important things about it. it yeah, he was like <laughs> it's he time a lot of good lift and very important thing about it. It's a heavy ass airplane though, of course. Everybody knows that. My head grew a little, huh? The satellite man's been shrinking his head. Well, yeah. so you know, my teeth should heal because my head's still growing. Yep. Yeah. Corn cob bot. I think this may have been during yeah. one of the times that he was destroying his own teeth. If you get my implication. Oh, you're goddamn right. You're goddamn right. This is one of the. Like, I feel like every video we watch of him is. What the um, fuck? Business serious, beauty laws, Hollywood, wow. T 
Pete. Why are all my Pete videos Elf. showing up in his recommended? What? Yeah, right. Like, no. Nah, <laughs> it, it, it. <laughs> this is so crazy. Okay, let's go. I want to look at one more popular. Yeah, I want to look at some more real Howard Hughes, bro. This is some interesting shit. Here's one. I had to use the aura gel on my under lip and gums. These are the satellite Cody man case didn't stop. Years. Man, that is just an odd, horrible fucking feeling, you know. But it lips, you don't, you don't feel like. It. Yeah, he's uh, he's fucking. Right there. You, know, right you want that tweak there. or that crack? It's all you know? numb from the aura gel. The government has to be prosecuted for satellite violations. <laughs> I had to use the aura gel because they wouldn't stop. And man. My lip is tingling and almost burning, kind of. Oh my, you know. It feels horrible. I mean, the stuff works to make your nut, your lip and gums numb. But it's got a new minty taste, I guess. I had to use Aura Gel before because the satellite man tried to steal my teeth when I was younger. Wow. It works. It's the not Lord. It's numb. The <laughs> Lord. Yeah, how long has the satellite man been fucking oh, up Tony's teeth? It's been Tony's a lifelong teeth? war. The satellite man we... tried to probably steal him out of his mother's womb. But see man. A good look at these teeth, because it looks like he actually has all of them. Yeah, that's what I was saying, bro. His teeth look fucking... This is before the heavy damage, I think. Like, he's missing one. There, see, yeah, yeah. he's... No, I think he still has it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, his, he, his teeth look pretty fucking... Oh, well, yeah, and this one he still has. Five it. years ago. Yeah, it was a year before the other one we just watched. Fucking A. Dude, he had to have started smoking, like like meth. It had to. Yeah. Like, these videos are... I think maybe he used to, and he's not anymore, but, like, the damage is still there. Yeah, it's a shame, man. It's what it's... Like, Tony clearly had... Had his issues, and that shit probably made it so much worse. Tony, though, Tony, unlike like these sickos like Cyrax and all, Tony's someone who I feel like is just someone who who goes through some shit. Mm -hmm. um, but it's always, you know, it's always good to keep tabs and see what the satellite man's doing because you know we don't we don't want the satellite man messing with our boy Tony. I think no. anyone in the chat would we would all stand up and fight for Tony if that satellite man came at him. I'll tell you that much. And what they've done to his teeth over the course of these past five years is unforgivable. Right. Unforgivable. Look at these teeth. Yeah. They were magnificent. Yeah, they were good. But then And that's old. the thing. Like how old, I don't know how old he is, but like clearly, Kiwi, he maintained good teeth for like his whole life. And just in the yeah. past five years, he fucking destroyed them. And you know, he's not like wrinkly in the face and shit. He doesn't look like he he's seems like he sees yeah. in good shape. Yeah, he posts pictures it? of his meals a lot. All he eats is like pasta. What? Like it's just like spaghetti. Pasta? Yeah, it's like spaghetti different shit. Like <laughs> I've seen like him it's... with spoons, eating with spoons many times. Yeah, yeah. you're right. Yeah, um, it's always like, but he doesn't seem like he eats a lot. He seems like he eats like, oh. I don't know. So he probably does stay in decent shape. <laughs> you got a high Not carb diet. Yeah. <laughs> It's crazy because it, he definitely has a home. He's not homeless because he doesn't give me that. Daniel's like rough. He looks. Yeah, he's got a house. He's got a house. And Tony has a house and like probably a job and shit. Yeah. So this is just like, and, and you'd think, hey, you'd think, oh, this is a character initially, but then you look back and there's been five years of just schizo posting religiously. Like it goes mm -hmm. beyond anything that any dedicated character would do. This is real. Absolutely. It's, it's fucking. Uh, probably he probably had like the onset of schizophrenia and then started taking drugs and just and fell really right just, in. Yep, fucked everything yeah. up. Yeah, there's no turning back now. Nope, so. and it's a shame. But like, so we're gonna we'll keep seeing what Tony's up to. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's he doing on his regular channel. Anything interesting? I know he's got like a uh -huh. mask. He has a giant band aid on. Yeah, I don't know what the deal with the band aid is. Neither do like, I. I think Very it's to weird. maybe maybe he does the same thing that the Bane mask did. So now you can see like what we just saw to where we're at now. And then. Yeah. Um, this is what is this? Charge the government for false profiling me and slander my parents trying to steal my identity. We got you, Tony. Doing that satellite man is burning my underside in between my legs, the satellite man is. And they're burning my front teeth over here. See the pigmentation damage of the lip. 
a sexual assault. And the government's going to get charged for uh, intellectual slander. All the government people that slandered my intellect and them damaging my lips and teeth. Them trying to call me another race than what I am. In reference to them trying to alter my lips and face. I'm not their race. I have no obligation. To <laughs> He's not their people. race. Kiwi. Where is he? Why is he talking That's what so I'm saying. quiet? That's what I'm saying. Joey, <laughs> Huey, and Chad. Uh, that's what I was thinking too. Is he taking his shit right now? <laughs> like, is he in his bathroom? <laughs> He's either at like, is he at work? I don't know. Someone else said something too and said his shirt is inside out. It does look like it's inside oh, out. Oh my God, it is. This is your coworker, you know, shirts inside out, hats on backwards, earrings, massive bandage across the face, rotted out teeth. Fucking poor Tony, it almost does man. It. Poor Tony. This is this sucks. I wish I wish I I'm I pray that one day I can see this dude living in a mansion in LA. Just as rich as possible. This is fucking nightmare blunt rotation material right here. Oh shit. Chat saying he, he says it in the video, he's at the unemployment office. Oh, so he doesn't have a fucking job. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> no, so yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense, actually. Trying to alter my looks. Of them warping in the face. And my satellite man is burning my tailbone. I'm over here at the unemployment office for the meeting for... Uh, Max X says, can you imagine taking a shit next to him here in this? <laughs> In the stall next to him. Hey, how you doing? He's, <laughs> he's, he's sitting there trying to relax. So he's, hey, how you doing? That's a uh, very well, important reference to the fact that I'm in, I'm in the bathroom right now taking a shit and the satellite man hit me in the teeth. Selling uh, university scholarships or scholarships the universities have tried to send to me. And government's going to get charged for their scams of stealing monies from my mother and father's companies. But anyways, I'm over here at the... Uh, it's a R E S E A orientation. Anyways, it's more lawsuits every day. They gotta get charged. The government's gonna get charged for insulting my intelligence. That's why he's being quiet. He doesn't want to get kicked exactly. out of the unemployment yeah. office. There's someone in there. There's someone in there. <laughs> Look at over like, what the fuck is he saying? And genetics and everything else. Yo, you can hear it. You can hear the fucking the noise of the other person. <laughs> That's amazing, bro. Let's go here. We'll we'll look at one more Tony video, then we'll get into the donos. Yeah. Um. Because we're we're what, what are you that. up to, Tony? What are you like? Let's see. Let's see. What's this? Is racism? the newest one? Racism, stalking, and reverse racism. Uh, what hmm. people in history have seen? Sperm theft. Sperm theft. Oh sperm man. Sperm theft. Racism, stalking, reverse yeah, racism. Very sperm theft there's so many hot button issues going to be talked about in this video i can't i can't wait to see it why does he not have a show on a major news network yet this guy's got all the <laughs> hot takes him and alex jones would have one of the best shows out there tony you heard about the frogs yeah hey, uh, yeah hey, alex you heard about the satellite man fucking up my teeth right now let's get them both on joe rogan together and we'll have some magic <laughs> that would be amazing Important. Tony's like, I'm kind of fucking schizophrenic, you know? <laughs> Look, <laughs> I'm kind of schizophrenic. Yeah. <laughs> In reference to uh, the tobacco industry and sports or industries of modeling or the ballet industry, this goddamn government satellite bitch claims that she thought she had a legal right watching, looking at other races outside of her own race. This, so this it's now a woman. I've noticed that because I think I've seen this. Uh, I showed my buddy this video the other night. Oh, yeah, you're right. A couple it beers, is a woman now. And it's a woman, this satellite bitch, and then there's the satellite man. <laughs> Jesus, bro. They're a couple, that power couple of the satellite, yeah. the satellite people. Fuck. When are they going to make their Mortal Kombat <laughs> one DLC debuts and burning their mouths and teeth if they held a south. They're American cigarettes too, and asthma cigarettes. You know, in reference to the point of information of this government bitch <laughs> attacking other races and ethnicities and religions of people and making up some narcissistic bullshit excuse trying to gain access into terrorizing a person's life and mutilating their teeth and mouth based on her own presumptions and her own opinion 
of what she thought she would try to control about another race or another person or another religion or another person in a different type of career from her position of her damaging and terrorizing people's lives she thought she would just make up some narcissistic nitpicky way or fabricated pet peeve or her pet peeve in her opinion about her trespassing into other people's lives and mutilating their mouth and teeth and anatomies that lady in the satellite control room or whoever that woman is needs to get charged for racism and religious crimes and she's right. a nazi german or middle eastern right. german or something and she needs to get prosecuted for treason in america goddamn right cigarettes Tony. have been legal in america for hundreds of years you yeah, don't that take our sitch trying to make up her excuses for attacking americans and mutilating this is why menthol has been banned is because tony spoke out against it and they didn't like it so they banned yeah well now look tony you might be an enemy of mine now buddy you, you, <laughs> you know you don't be i think he's actually fighting for cigarettes tony's mm. on my side I, i'm against this german satellite woman trying to steal this middle cigarette. eastern german woman she's trying to take away our asthma cigarettes you know the cigarettes yeah. you can smoke when you have asthma like there's a lot of different brands out there in tony's universe i can only imagine mm. like <laughs> i don't know do you own earl doobie dot exe roxanne or do i you know, like oh, fuck. Tony, dude. Tony owns everything. He sure as shit owns that Predator White Bowser. My mm. God, what a predator! Roxanne, the satellite woman, based on her pet <laughs> peeve, or based on her cultural race, that she's trespassing into other people's race and religion, and people's identities to attack them and to mutilate them for her personal gain and her people or her race and their personal gain. That lady needs to face life in prison and the death penalty. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> That's it. Uh, that he didn't even did he even bring up sperm theft? <laughs> like, no. Where, where is it's the sperm? implied. Yeah. It's implied that sperm yeah. theft has occurred. In that video, <laughs> at some point, sperm theft took place, but Tony doesn't know exactly where yet. No. No. He'll soon find out. <laughs> you know, it's it's crazy to think that now that this satellite uh, universe, these, these satellite characters, they're expanding. There's more of them. Yeah. It's, the lore is getting more fleshed out. It's crazy, man. The Tony lore, like, if you could write a book about this, holy shit. I'd read mm -hmm. that while tripping balls and just be like, whoa, <laughs> these satellite people need to figure it the fuck out. That would be amazing. I would want an audiobook version, though, where Tony read it. <laughs> read by Tony. You know? yeah. It starts with chapter one. <laughs> hey, how you guys doing? This is a very important <laughs> reference to the story you're about to read today. My name is Tony Chase, 40-something years old from L.A., but I currently reside in Indiana. The government man stole me away from here when I was just <laughs> but a wee child. <laughs> they murdered my parents, Walt Disney mm. or Howard Hughes, depending on who you're talking to, mm. and Doris Duke. Here I sit now, 40-year-old man trying to get back to the life that they stole from me, and I'm going to smoke every meth pipe and call out every satellite man it takes until I get there. I'm just trying to be. I'm just trying to be back to who I was. Why My does that sound Tony like? Chase. Yeah, I was just about to say. I'm like, I have <laughs> literally just been watching for the first time. My name is Earl, and I'm like, I see what you're doing there. Yeah, well, I always crack up when we got Bowser to recreate oh, that. The, I can't. Name is Earl. I'm I'm watching it because of him, you know, because like the meme. But I also oh, God, I can't yeah. watch the show the same because whenever they say Earl, I'm just like, yeah, you know. I feel you on that. <laughs> I watched it back when it was on. Like that was a show. Like that was a show. Like uh, me and my dad would watch when I was a kid. Cause that show was hilarious. Dude, it's so funny, and they make jokes that like people can't make on TV today. Oh it's yeah, so I noticed. Good. I noticed that when I went back and watched it too. I was like, for a show like that, I didn't know like there were some jokes. I was like, whoa, it's a little. Oh, yeah, it's a little crazy. But like, yeah. they fucking have this one-legged girl hopping around throughout like multiple seasons. You know, it's just <laughs> yeah, yeah. It is. It's a great show. It's a yeah. Great they would show. not. So much shit doesn't fly anymore. It's a shame. It's a damn shame. Yeah, it's really ruined the quality of content. But that's why we have you know people like Tony, people like Rax and Earl for that unfiltered shit that not even TLC will touch. That's fair, man. That's exactly true. You know, it's a shame. I'd love to see Tony on TLC. He'd, he'd have uh, ratings will be through the roof, but they they fear him because they know the satellite man will come for their network yeah. if they give Tony a spotlight. The satellite man won't allow it. They won't no, give him platform. They, nope. And he's also kind of racist. Not never. <laughs> Not never. 
Well, that's probably it for the low cows. Let's lead, let's read some comments here. I'll turn on, on a little music. Unless you have anything else you want to talk about. Um, oh, no. I thought we, can, uh, we can get these super chats and shit. See what everyone was saying. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Thank you guys I mean, for I hope you guys enjoyed tonight. the new microphone, though. I know it's still not the best, but uh, you know it's much better than what we were working with. Thank God. And yeah. Yeah. It's, it's good. It honestly is good. I've been keeping an eye at the levels, and it seems like our audio levels are matching up real good. Nice. So nice. that's exciting shit. Yeah, um, definitely. Better better quality, too high for stupids coming at you, chat. Mark White with the two. Any chances of a new video of Pete's He's a Pedophile? I know a little about Pete's, not much. I haven't heard anything about him. He's like Foodie Beauty's... Uh, Oh, he simps for her. He lives with her, but like she won't have sex uh, with him. It's weird. I gotta yeah. ask Miss Smith. She'll probably know more about that. Yeah, she will. She's been killing it with the uploads lately. By the way, yeah, she um, just hit a thousand. She's there her thousand subs. That's awesome, dude. That's yeah. awesome, and that's pretty damn quick, like for a channel. Yeah, like man. That, so yeah, no, I was telling her I was proud of her for that shit, bro. Yeah, that's cool. And right. it's like, and I and I like how it's like similar, but it's also a different vibe. It's yeah, tight. yeah, definitely. It's tight. Definitely, because she uses the same thing I do, just the thing on the phone. Yeah. Works yeah. out pretty well. Can't even tell. We got Rice King for the five. <laughs> S -s 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 Smokey, you are a loser and a drug abuser. You are <laughs> you are fucking psycho in your head. Psychopath. Predator. He's, yeah, he's <laughs> the biggest predator. Fuck Bowser. Hey. You know... How yeah, far we'll, keep we've come. Screen. we'll give the people a good, a good yeah, visual. Earl.exe does compute. <laughs> Kyle Edwards with the five Kiwi try finger butthole. Yeah, right. You've you've seen those fucking messages in Elden Ring, haven't you? Yes. Yes. There I I can't help but just smile every time because I'll go looking for like a vital piece of information and you it'll never be get it. No, it's always try fingers. I've never once fingers. gotten any good info from yeah. reading that shit. I just don't do it now. I like it, though, you know? So you, they'll have people who are like, oh, jump here, and there's obviously nothing there. Yeah. So I got, you got to love them. Yes, whoa. I'm in the middle of a dead zone for Wi-Fi, and I just wanted to say shout-out hmm. to Wings of Redemption's chair for holding it down. Been holding it down for years. Shout-out to both Kiwi and Smokey. Velma hmm. will be back. Yeah. Well, I think, yeah, Key, that's... That's that's very exciting for Kiwi. Velma, Velma hype train. Yep. Let me tell you something. Ever since season one was announced, that hype train left the station and it hasn't stopped building speed. Velma no. season two is going to be an animated masterpiece. And you're, I cannot You're wait. goddamn right it is. Mm -hmm. I, I literally see the chat right now. They're just breaking out into chants. Mindy, yeah. Mindy. Yeah. <laughs> so excited. They're so excited. What I, Thank you, guys. What I bro. love... What I love is that Mindy actually thinks that's happening. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Guestbo again, I'm pen pals with large big bubble bubbles, and he said that he's gonna make X <laughs> Nice, good. Now we know. That's that's beautiful to know, Guestbo brother. Thank you. Have you have you seen that movie Let's Go to Prison? Um It's I got uh it. what's his name? The Reese's guy. Uh you know him. I probably Bojack do. I'm, bl I'm blanking right now. But uh, he had to share his cell with this big black guy, and the, the guy brought him in and set him down and basically explained to him, like, how he was his proper oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, now <laughs> I know. I've seen that before. I, I imagine Rax developing that type of relationship. I imagine Rax going up to the biggest dude there and sitting him down and telling him that, <laughs> all right, listen, Bubba, <laughs> I'm here now, and you're just going to have to do what I fucking say, all right? You're basically... Yeah. My bitch. You know, your bitch. I can see Cyrax thinking he runs that fucking place. This is my cell block now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Any any kind of fucking business that goes through here, I, I'm getting a piece of it, bitch. Yeah, Cyrax has to like, know about it. Tyler Brock, yeah. the five. ladies and gentlemen of the jury, either you find me guilty or not guilty, I pull my cock out and get you banned. Which is it, your honor? Facts. Facts. Thank I you, want Tyler. to see that quote in the newspaper, Tyler, and like a little artist rendition of the event where he's yeah. standing up. Yeah, yeah the, the, the sketch of it, that would be fucking yeah. wild. I feel like the stand would still cover up, you know, his torso, so we'd be fine. He'd have oh, to yeah. jump. Definitely. We'd be good. You wouldn't see nothing. 
Stingy right, with the 15. Jesus, Stingy. Thank yeah, bro, you. You dropped the 20 earlier. Now you dropped the mm -hmm. 15, man. Always great to see you, bro. Mm -hmm. uh, only way Raxes can get out of this is Better Call Saul or a ukulele apology video. <laughs> I think Cyrax, that's what he should do. He should do like a Chester Bennington memorial. Like, hey, y'all, I'm apologizing for mm -hmm. hitting that guy with the bat. Let's go. And then it starts doing Chester Bennington screams. I think people would be like, you know what, Cyrax? We understand. The judge would see that and be like, wow, we don't need court. Like, look at that. Like, he's He just proved us wrong right then and there. He's ready for people to get off of the toxic drift track train. <laughs> I, I don't know where going there, but he's even ready for it to be over. The toxic <laughs> splunking train that he's not allowed to be on. This is illegal. Riding down the tracks to Manipulation Station, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Tyronius Blacksimus. Yeah, Lawyer Biz Larry. <laughs> he definitely needs Lawyer Biz Larry, but the best he's going to get is the same public defender, possibly a new one, who's probably going to be even more fed up with him, so it'll be funny to see what happens. He's going to get the booty baster from the boondocks as soon as he <laughs> enters jail. He Let really he's not, he's not going to know how to handle it. No. He'll find out. He'll figure it out real quick. <laughs> even Robert Kardashian couldn't save this no, goblin. No, he could not. It no, blows my mind not. that's where they got their start, like, from the yeah, OJ. Right? Yeah. I know. It's crazy when you think back to that shit. And look what, look what they fucking become now. It's ridiculous. Oh, billionaires. Yeah. Billionaires. Every one of them. It's insane. It really is insane. Boogie fan. <laughs> Boogie fan. Does the Akron PD have a Cyrax unit for the Goblin? Oh, uh, yeah. Probably just a smaller cell. Okay, maybe a dog cage, but they got it for him. Because you don't need to waste all that space in a big one with just sewing a small Cyrax. Well, if he bites one of your officers, the infection will take hold if you don't amputate, and the officer will surely die. So I'd say that they have a special response team that's decked out in, like, bite-proof shit. And, uh, that's true. Like, biohazard. Yeah, like, like one of those send their biohazard that snake, unit. Yeah, bite through. Like a snake-proof yeah. boot or something. Yeah. That'd be great. Thank you. Ghostface for the five. Forget this ugly stick. Someone beat rags with the whole forest. You're goddamn yeah, right, man. bro. Every single every single piece of wood in that forest clocked Cyrax in the head scabs at least once. Oh, man. Goddamn and it's right. beautiful. Ghostface. Yeah, it's look at him. Thing. Let's look at him. Oh, that's a good view of the scabs. That, that's, a, that's, that's good, too. But thank you, Ghostface, you goat. It looks like a wild animal, like like I'm being attacked by some sort of aquatic organism, like I'm on a cave dive. Yeah, like an eel. There's, like an eel. Yeah, that's exactly. The teeth are very eel-like. Mm -hmm. Beefy, Beefy Bitcoin, Bitcoin with the ninja, bro. Thank you. Hmm. Yeah, thanks, bro. We appreciate you. Fucking goat, man. Boogie fan again. Smash Bandicoot fight the goblin, bro. I was thinking about having Doom on to talk about that because that Smash Bandicoot guy went at Doom after Doom did that video on him. Yeah, We're we gotta have, have him back on to talk that. Smash. Yeah, we definitely are. Yeah, that's we that's should. some interesting shit going on over there. But thank you for that, Maybe. Bogey, and Doom's the goat. Maybe I'll see if he could pop in for a little bit next stream or something. I'll, I'll Hell yeah. Him. We'll Hell see yeah. what we can do because that was one thing I wanted to talk about and more drama has happened since then. So Yep. Yep. It's insane. Pope. We Pope's got the vest, got boys. <laughs> Snorts. Snort. Such positive and meaningful content. Love the show, boys. Great work. Allow the Pope to light your bowl, chat. I'll take Thank it. you, Super Pope Comment Jizzle. You fucking mm -hmm. go, man. I'll take this dab right now for you in facts. Thank you guys for supporting the stream tonight. You got the vest on our characters. I'm so happy you support the positive content. Really means a lot, guys. Thank you. Oh, that's great. Chaos Killer 721 with the five. Are you guys next topic for blowing? But yeah, right. But let's blow some bubbles. That's it. Yeah, right. We bet our goals. Let's blow bubbles. <laughs> guys, what a guys. fucking. Oh, God. Yeah, he's such a. We made $200. I'll put on a fucking hat. Like, what? Like, what? Like, like, he sees Blade out there doing fire sales with shots and he thinks he can imitate it with fucking bubbles. Vests and hats. No. No, Blade. No. You know, this is usually the time of night that Blade's live. I'll go check if he's live right now and see what that. Did no, you hear about not. his streamer house? Yeah, yeah, he's fucking poor. That's not happening. Like, I don't know. I don't <laughs> even think he has a house, bro. Like, he was living in that house, claiming it was his. Now he's not there and says, yeah, yeah, it was only an Airbnb at first, but they're just running it out this next week, and then I get to go mm. live there. Bullshit. 
You've been oh, seeing shit. all these uh, pictures of Beck riding around with other guys on motorcycles wow. and all this other shit. Yeah, she's fully wow. moved on. Yeah, and Blade's like, dude, like everything's cool, dude. I don't know why everyone cares about my personal life. It's like, bro, you're on stream. Like most times, like four or five hours a night, yeah. divulging half the shit of your, like all the shit in your life. You know, people know all about you. She's he he's so mad. He's like, bro, why are people asking about Beck? You know a channel? You know what the name of the channel he's streaming on is? <laughs> oh, Beck. Beck with a picture of her. It's not even. He's his getting channel. her thousands of subs. He's gonna give her that shit back as soon as his yeah. like strike is up. Yeah, I would be like, what the fuck? So, like, just change the name to Blade. Like, people are yeah. so confused as to why Blades is streaming on this random channel. Dude, he is like fucking falling apart he's not gonna make it long without her i mean the writing was on the wall as soon as we caught her making out with chicken andy a man as old as her son and that's another point i'd love to make is like imagine this is your mother acting like a fucking teenage girl going going and like hoeing around and shit dude like becky is hoeing around so hard dude yeah i would be so yeah, ashamed yeah, if that was my mom yeah, and imagine she's like that fucking shit, fifty. She's like oh, what? For, she's in her forties, and she's like out there, and especially acting like especially she's twenty. You're with someone like Blade, who literally is just getting pissed drunk every night, screaming yeah. the n word. Like it's just like, well, mm -hmm. what do you like? <laughs> you really, you really picked a winner, mom. Good job. Yeah, yeah. Mother and then the our, their fucking dad, their birth dad, is a whole other case of apples. He like Japanese ritual oh, himself. Jesus Christ. And people love love bringing that up in chat around her. I I don't Fuck. like Beck, but I thought that was kind of fucked up where they'd like say it was her fault and shit. Oh, of so, course, but they 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 were always going to do that. They they say any that those chats yeah. say any hurtful thing they can to try to get under those people. I feel skin. like that's part of it. She got she got tired of being ripped on by chat. You know, very true. Very true. Chat loved it. They'd call her like a linebacker and shit. Okay, Holy that was a shit. tangent. Can you read? No, you're good. Read the next one real quick. I'm going to go. Ch yeah. Actually, I can't. Someone in chat just wrote, this is off topic, but Daniel Larson has been threatening to shoot up public spaces on his TikTok. This is fucking wild. Oh, my God. So I'll have to Jesus check that Christ. out after the stream. I don't know what's going on there. Glad to contribute to the fest. Give me the M. Bison. One of these days, we'll do it. We'll do it. Yeah, chat. one of these days, we got to get the M. Bison. When, once we do, it'll be glorious, guys. Seeing, seeing us in our full glory with M. Bison hats on and vests. It's an original idea that me and Kiwi came up with. And um, I think it's just, I think the chat's going to really love the positive and fun energy that it exudes. And yeah, I think uh, each week we're going to try to aim to hit the tip goal so we have extra money for our day off. So maybe if we want to play a little bit of WWE Champions here, maybe we can do it. <laughs> So yeah, I think you, I think I'm gonna have to contact an artist about this. Yeah, um, I thought we we might we might. Yeah, uh, Doctor Nigus B. What dude? You try every time, bro. You try every time. He I does. He it. does. But Wings Only Fans <laughs> when? I don't know, bro. Like I said, I'm, as soon I'm as not Kelly really... gets, as soon as Kelly yeah. gets back from being blacked. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Hopefully soon enough, bro. We all want it. Yeah, I mean. We already got the Adam Twenty Two thing, so like this year's already been just yeah, W but wings after is W, wings, bro. Like it's wings. Like everyone wants that wings only fancy crazy. Everybody wants the Jason Love, uh, Kelly, <laughs> Kelly fucking Richardson, Jordan, Jordy Jordan, yeah, <laughs> Kelly Jordan. <laughs> How do I said Richardson? <laughs> Sean of the Dead for five. Next big fight, Cyrax versus Wings. Cyrax wins, he stays out of jail. Wings win, he gets another 10 Gs to avoid the real job saga. Oh, Wings would crush him, so Wings would get that 10 grand. Cyrax would just scream like he did when he fought Marty, I think. <laughs> That's the only real way I think that could go, but thank you. Thank Sean you, Sean of the Dead. Sean of the Dead, have you seen fights that disregard weight classes? It's like fucking, it's so unfair. Like, there's yeah. a reason... It, and Wings is not healthy. I would say that Rax is probably, like, more fit than Wings, but Wings would still dominate him. And he, he'd be gassed out in, like, five fucking punches. <laughs> Capybara Man, Cappy Blappy Man got here late. Hope it's going well, fellas. It's going great, it brother. Glad you're here, I though, want, man. I want a Capybara so bad, dude. Yeah, they are cool looking. They're so cool. And they get, I saw one at the zoo and it was like 300 fucking pounds. They get so big, like Jeez. so chill too. Clyde Cash Dog, who would win Larson's Scabies or Cobes Chase? Ooh. 
Chair bugs Skaties are more well fed. Scabies oh, again, though, it goes back to the previous point. They're two together. Yeah, they're joined. Mm. They'll just one like, like piece say... by piece of the chair. Their chair. Their take off, down like all at the same time. I say, um, yeah, scabies again because the scabies they're more like they're meat eaters, as where yeah. the chair bugs are more like um, scavengers, like a vulture. They pick up the shit that Cobes doesn't eat and recycle it back into the ecosystem. So, if we're going like a battle, then the scabies. But if you're talking a more useful form of parasite, then it'd be Cobes chair bugs. Absolutely. <laughs> Little does Tony know that the satellite man is in fact not a man. Well, yeah, we just discussing that, bro. It's crazy. The satellite bitch. And there's another scaby <laughs> of Daniels right there. The satellite scaby. Thank you for saying Marshman, brother. That satellite bitch. That got me. Because I thought bitch. he was calling the satellite man the satellite bitch. So did I. It's a, so did I. It's a different entity. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. My shopping list said get effing eggs. And I for Oh, yeah. No, you we were talking about this. Sadness. I dared to cuss on the list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes you forget. Sometimes you forget and you just slip up and say a swear word here and there. It just happens. Mm. You let him know, Rose T. Don't take no shit. You yeah. march right up and be like, fucking eggs. Yeah. Fucking eggs, man. Do you own that stylus or do I? <laughs> That's right. Do you own a stylus or or is it me? Do you own the bed that Sally and Ed sleep on in the living room or is it my bed? You know, <laughs> I, I can see Tony just taking everything from Cyrax because Tony owns everything. I can't believe that we get such like a clear view into their fucking bedroom. It is crazy. It's not even their living room. Where does Chance hang out with them? Like, is there a chair somewhere? Does he hang out at the foot of the bed like a fucking dog? I could see that too. Him just sitting on the bed or laying across the bed when they all watch wrestling together. Yeah, curled up or like in between them. He got. (laughs) He had a nightmare, and he's like, "Oh my god." (laughs) Can I sleep with you guys tonight? There was an ice bullet fired through my window. (laughs) <laughs> Rick Zilla, we can't talk about it. we 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 can't talk about the cupcake, Smokey. There, there's a legal there's a legal uh, uh, there's a legal case against this, Smokey. We we can't talk about that. He's such he's he really thinks that just because I feel like we need to make the best houses. Shut up. What? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off, bro. No, no, I didn't even hear you. Um, I was saying we need to make a best of White Bowser. Absolutely, I think that has to be the next one. Yeah, I'm, I have a couple good ideas. We could do best of Too High for Stupid, best of White Bowser, best of Blade. Like there are all these these cool collabs we can do. Yeah, I think Bowser's one that we definitely. I mean, God, man, it'd be a long one though. It would. Be a- it would. I have most of the clips already ready for oh, my yeah. previous. So. <laughs> Yeah, Bowser. Uh, it'd, it'd be um, fun. That would be a good one. That would be a good one. La Snake, welcome. You're a fucking dirty tapist, dude. You'll get to see the best of Daniel Larson video, and you'll get to see my Donnie Mayo video, which should be out for members tomorrow morning because it's going to take like four hours to edit. I was hoping to get it out quick, um, but it's probably going to be a couple days. I don't know if I'll drop the Larson video or that one first, Smoke. All of you, like, man. Just let me know what the, you do, and then so I can put the thing out for it. I might wait on the Larson thing for a bit longer because the Donnie Mayo is like a little more breaking, like Hell it just yeah. happened. But yeah. I promise I'll get it out. It's already done. I feel me. you. Thank you, Snack. Welcome. Mighty, mighty. I wonder if K- Sally or Karen found out Cyrax is still on the internet. They had. In the body cam footage we watched, Sally literally brought up. She's like, yeah, mm-hmm. well, I don't have internet, and he's doing some VPN. So she knows. She's just defeated, and she's like, well, he's doing like, And that's what's so, like, it's taken Sally years to actually shut off the internet and try to kick him off of it. And when he gets it back just a few days later, she's like, well, what am I supposed to do? It's like, like I brought it up earlier. Take his fucking phone. Take all the shit that he's getting on the internet with. It's going to get you kicked out of your house. She just wants to believe that it's all the trolls' fault. She shouldn't have to deal with any of this. And if Cyrax wants to do what he wants to do, why the fuck should he have to suffer? Why should we all have to make should bend to the will of these trolls? That's what her mindset is. Who the fuck are these people? They're going to come into my house and tell my son what he can do? Well, the problem is when your son's doing all the fucked up shit he's doing and you're not telling him what to do, then other people are going to have to do it for you. And she just won't do it. Like She tells the cops right then and there, 
care. Yeah, you know, we're not supposed to be on the internet, but Chance somehow has a way. Then fucking take the shit from him. If he's going to freak out, then kick him the fuck out. He's 32 years old, and yeah. you've been allowing this for the past 32 you years. You can at least and set now- him up. Yeah, and now look at the shoes you're in. You're getting attacked every day. You're a fucking idiot. You haven't mm-hmm. stopped this ever, and now it's at the worst it's ever gotten, and you're still refusing to do anything? You're, you're a fucking idiot. You're just a fucking idiot. I couldn't crazy, in, in imagine... Imagine um, putting your fucking grandma through this shit. Like, actually, the only person who's putting their fucking... putting his grandma in danger is him. He's the source yeah. of this all. Like, he's like, I want to protect my family. Well, Chance, if you really wanted to fucking protect your family, you would leave the internet. Cops yep. keep getting called. You're being threatened to be kicked out. It's like, mm-hmm. it's so true. Because if, if if he was, if he actually loved Sally and he, like, actually cared about her, then if they were threatened to be kicked out of their home, he would stop what's behind it. But he only cares about him fucking self. So. That's what I brought up last week, bro, in the body cam footage video yeah. when the cop says, you know, Cyrax says, our landlord said we have to l- stop going on the internet or she'll kick us out and we won't have anywhere to go if we get kicked out because that's the only thing there is like, oh my God, we're going to get kicked out. He never even, it never even crosses his mind of the possibility of leaving the internet. Like that's just not an option. Yeah. So It'll like, how are we going to get around this? Yeah, that's what he's trying to say. Is like, how are we going to get around this to where we don't get evicted? I don't have to leave the internet. Like chance just leave the internet but to him it's not it's like i said it's not an option instead he's willing to test it he's willing to risk his family being kicked out while he has a court case yep just to just to speak to like just because he deserves to be on the internet legalize it ice baby i agree legalize it (laughs) yo bastard the green thank you uh for the yeah i saw the bastard the green for the five gift subs bro holy shit uh, and also Skeletor. Thank you, Skeletor. You gave five as well. Thank you, Bastard the Green. I saw that you also joined the Tapists, Bastard the Green. Um, thank you, guys. The army grows wider every day. And All Geek, those people. Geek just joined right now. Who? Geek in the chat. Geek huh. just joined, became a Tapist. That's what's up. That's what's up. Fucking, that's what's up, dude. Like, people people look out for their own. Chat looks out for its Sex. own. I love that. Sex. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Beefy Bitcoin. Quick question. Every time I get on YouTube, someone new is a pedo. Do you think there is something about the YouTuber that inclines them to riz on kids? Or is there money in the manhunt for pedos online? They are disgusting. Well, as two YouTubers here, I'm telling you, there is no there is no interest to no. riz on any kids. Um, I think it's just the fact that a lot of people, like the bigger, the bigger creepy YouTubers, I don't understand. I don't really like... I don't like a Kiwi. It's weird because what we cover here, we cover like these guys on like the, the doldrums, like Cyrax's Larson's mm-hmm. all these creepy pedos. But then the there's these people like that, like the girl, with the ukulele we were talking about that Miranda mm-hmm. sings. Mm-hmm. And it's like, some of these people are right in front of you. And it's like, yeah. it's just, it's, it feels disgusting when they get outed. Cause you're like, you know, you, you wish you could have known all along. So you could have fucking put a stop to these people. Then it's, uh, yeah, there's, it's just, there's it levels. Sucks. There's, you know, I think what it is, is like these people are using the internet as a platform to interact with minors. That's what it is. Like they see the internet as a, as a, a way that they can, if they are like true predators, not all, not all low cows are predators, but like, it seems like the internet does attract pedos. I don't think it's a YouTuber thing. Cause I've found so many new TikTokers. I think it's just an internet thing as a whole. The internet yeah, it's is just, just the fact that a, it, anonymity yeah, it, and shit. Mm-hmm. It's a hunting ground for pedos, and that's why like parents really need to watch their kids online because it's just so fucking dangerous these Absolutely. days. Absolutely, absolutely, um, man. No, uh, dude, when I have kids, I'm not like I know people all the time say like, "Oh man, like I'm not giving my kid a phone till they're like, 18." It's like, no, my kid mm-hmm. goes to school. I want them to have like an old, like one of those old flip phones, like to if they yeah. need to call me, they call me. But even nowadays, it's just a lot of parents don't go through it. Just go on their iPhone, and set all the fucking parental blocks. Yeah. That's what I'll do. Be like, "Yo, if you're I've... allowed to call me. You're allowed to text me. You're not allowed to get calls from random ass numbers." Simple as that. If I found out that my fucking kid was using, like, Discord or Reddit, I'd shut yeah, that right? shit down in its tracks. Right? TikTok, it's all like, that shit. Yeah, that's what it is. It's just, yeah, you gotta be careful, because the internet is a fresh hunting ground for pedos. Most dangerous one is Snapchat. Yeah, yeah, Snapchat is dangerous. Mm-hmm. Um, TikTok is dangerous. Um, 
TikTok is a lot more dangerous than people realize. There's a yeah. lot of pedophiles on there. Uh, Instagram, like all, all of it, all of it. It's crazy. Yeah, the only it's thing scary. the only thing you should be letting your kids do on their phone is like calling you and playing WWE champions. You know, playing yeah. some WWE champions is always absolutely. <laughs> It's always it's always the best thing imagine you're just you're sitting there you know you're living your life you're going to work knowing that somewhere your kid's sitting at home playing wwe champions beating dark side phil and costing him thousands of more money that he has to spend <laughs> that's a, that's always a fun thought yeah for real you gotta love just wasteful spending when you have no money right facts facts um kiwi i can't believe you gave up on wooing earl's mom as fast as you did yeah it was kind of like a little yeah, it wasn't he realized, something I was serious about. He realized he didn't want to live in the same house as what you see on the screen right now. Would you? Mm -hmm. Like, like I know Ki Kiwi was talking to her. They were going to meet at a hotel somewhere, but like Earl had like one of those like like spaz attacks, and she had to stay. Yeah, home. He's, he's something about like chicken and yeah. Rogers, and like it was something all about, like, called off. I walked in. She walked in the house. She was hearing the REM song "Losing My Religion," "Losing My Religion," and he's screaming about yeah. cow rat. It was a hit it and quit it type situation, Max Axe. Yeah. Skelly, Skelly Thor with the five. <laughs> I always loved the visceral <laughs> hatred Bowser unlocks in Smokey. Yeah, I tried. I've tried since day one to not like really let my but my like emotion show in this shit, but like talking with White Bowser drove that shit up a fucking wall because you're there with a dude trying to like <laughs> act like all this pedophilia shit's okay. Like you just want to fucking snap. And um yeah, like I said, I, I try try to stay cool. But not when he you gets you riled up like I've never seen anyone else. Yeah, it does because he's a fucking he asshole, bro. He's yeah. a fucking <laughs> asshole. I hate listen, all the shit he says. Like he acts like he's always in the right. Like it's it's very rare to speak to a person like him. But when you do, it's like fuck. Yeah. He's the worst. Oh, dude, it's terrible. And he's been your fan for so long, dude. It blows my mind. <laughs> it's yeah. like the way the way that I view it is like. I fucking, because I, I was I was there too. I was in in your Discord and like I like talked to you a couple times on there and shit like about wrestling and stuff. But like I had no idea. I, I'd seen Bowser in the vent tab constantly. I knew he was a character, but this is yeah, man. This is like a whole new level. It's hard to believe. Yeah, that he no, was, and it's. Uh, I I wish I don't I know. I'm just baffled. Wish. Like I always bring it up. No, yeah, I know what you mean. I wish, dude, I could go into, like, the Count Dankula server, because I know Bowser, like, I th he probably, well, no, he's probably still in them. I would love to see the shit he's posting in all the other servers yeah, he was in. Yeah, Like, all the other YouTubers. Like, I can't Im I can only imagine that someone's told me before that he tried to rile up that dude Technicals' Discord to go against mm. us. He was like, mm. guys, there's this crazy group of people in the Lolcow community who's saying that anime equals pedophilia these people are crazy like should we go over and say something <laughs> it's like yeah. a thousand trying to rile people up like, i love that i like, should we go over and say something like yeah, it's right? so true like, he's, he's unbelievable he is he thought he thought everybody would be against us when really it's like we hit him with the uno reverse card that's it's, right it's basically all that happened like he's like smoky you're a predator i have no yeah. evidence but you're a predator and we're like bowser there's actually evidence of you being a predator. Here it is. Fucking. Yeah, that's the he one thing. On. Like I said, it all started. Like I said, it all started the day he said, Smokey, Music Biz Mahi, and Cywax are all making videos together in a content farm. That means that Smokey and Mahi are colluding with an actual pedophile. That means they support this pedophile. And I was like, Bowser, you're a fucking idiot. You're a fucking idiot. Like, you, I. Max I X says, I found that. that Discord. You got to read the responses to him. Technical server destroyed him when he tried it. <laughs> oh, man. I would love. <laughs> Fuck, my dog's going crazy. Love to see that. God, I would oh. love to see that. You're kind of cutting in and out. Maybe it's just for me. Um, Riker Blade with the five. How long until the trial do you think Chase will get? before he goes off on the jury oh i'd say not, not long well yeah. a few minutes yeah within can the hour you? he's gonna take the stand yeah i can hear you okay good good oh shit okay i was like let's not have technical difficulties now 
Um, oh, good. Hold yeah. on. I got you. I got you. Not long at all. Not long at all, Riker. Lupus in Fabula with the two. Money for the Billboard Fund. I can't believe people still remember that. Yeah. Maybe we just start like a website, Earl.exe. I don't know. Exciting times. Thank you, Lupus. Joe Knotts 51, the Black Dragon with the five. Heard there's a heard from the grapevine that there's neo Nazis looking into Bowser. He better watch himself. Those guys don't play. That'd be nuts. Why? Because of the whole Jewish joke? Like, Andy's back. I'm on my phone again. My laptop died. <laughs> All right. Bet. Bet. Um, I, I haven't heard anything about this, but it's scary prospect. What's that? Let me see. Heard from the grapevine that Bowser is on neo-Nazis' radar. Better watch himself because those guys don't play. A ne like, is it a specific neo-Nazi or like a just, just neo-Nazis in general? Like, what, what do you mean? Who knows? He could even be referring to the farms. Who knows? You know, like people people fuck? say all kinds of things. I would crack on Bowser's like like he's somehow gotten this like I don't know where like just some group of neo Nazis against him. I don't know what he did to do that, but uh, yeah. <laughs> fucking Bowser. I wouldn't put it past him. He's shit lording. That's what did it. Um, Red Beard Mortis. Okay. Hope he tells the judge, trust me when I say this, bitch. Maudie and William Glory Hole, they threaten my life, then get six months in the Akron Slammer. You're goddamn mm. right, he will. He'll, he'll bring those names up so many times in court. You should probably play, play a drinking game. I always say that, but it's, it is the facts. He'll, he'll name so many trolls when he's in there. You watch. Marty's name will get thrown out a lot. Glory Holes will. When he, na when he name drops Glory Hole, all fucking seriousness will leave that room. Oh, absolutely. It's going to, like, he can make a solid argument up until the point where he mentions William Glory Hole. Yeah. It's, then it's it like all falls second, apart. Yeah. Let's say William, and they'll be like, okay, Glory Hole, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> shut up. Like, <laughs> shut up. What, what, what do you mean? Like, they're not going to... Oh, sire, but yeah, he's going to try, he's gonna try to throw all the trolls under the bus and act like they're the problems when he's there for assaulting somebody. Mm-hmm. Unlike Cobra, cops have actually seen Chase's vids. Yeah, true. Oh, they definitely have, bro, and they fucking hate him. They know he's crazy. That's why he's got that 43 label. People are asking the origins of the Chase thing, too. That's just what an officer called him during the arrest was yeah, Chase. Yeah, I, I got my video dropping tomorrow on Cyrax, and that's in the video, and I talk about how like, that's why people are calling him Chase. So Nice. That there. Yeah. People need to know. Not a lot do. Yeah, it is, it is confusing. It is confusing. Mm -hmm. Patrick Chase, whatever the fuck he is. Yo, it's your boy. Congrats yes. on the views, muchachos. And remember to let your thangs hang, man. Oh, I'll let that Damn. thing hang, brother. Thank you, bro. Thank you for the love, man. <laughs> Great to have you here. Even bigger, bro. Yeah, dude. It's your boy. Kiwi Tapes back at you with another video. That used to be how I started all my Cyrax videos. <laughs> That's good. Shaun of the Dead, Smokey, Will Cow Wrestling Idea, Akron PD versus the Wilkins oh. Family, Ladder Match for Cyrax Court Documents, Winner Gets Cyrax's Home, or Six Months in the Pokey. Okay, so uh, we could do that. There's a few. There's only a few issues. You can't do six on six uh, ladder matches, I believe. You can do, like, six people, but it has to be teams of two. So it would have to be, like, Cyrax and Ed or Cyrax and Sally. Um, but the Akron PD, though, that would be perfect because we could get a cop, and then we already have Chris Chance jerk up, the big, big Bubba cop. So, mm -hmm. yeah, we could take, he could travel to Akron to fight on behalf of the Akron PD. I was even thinking if we can get the Wilkinses and, like, who would be a great fourth member versus the Akron PD in, like, war games or something? I don't know, one of those cannibal people from Judge Dredd. Facts, facts. Or Daniel Larson, he can be the two. Remember, he would fit the, right the in. Wilkins family have adopted him a few times in Lil' Cow Wrestling. Yeah, right. He's their other predator son. He is. The the one that you have, he has like an aggression dial on his fucking forehead. Oh, they need to get <laughs> yeah. one installed in <laughs> yep. Chance. Fuck. Yeah, they should. <laughs> Ian Carrada was in Ohio this week and heard a few people talk about Rax and Akron. Safe to say everyone knows him now. Sam Stare. Well, man, uh, that's that's wild to hear the words getting around like that, Ian. But I hope you had a good weekend, man. And that's just that's just crazy to think about the people now we're all talking about Akron around Ohio if that's if that's what's going on. He's a celebrity. Daniel only wishes.
Yeah, Daniel only lists, wishes he had Cyrax status. Facts. Kyle Edwards with the five. Cyrax and Sally change their numbers, but they're regarded. Sally keeps putting her number on Facebook, and Rax keeps telling people this. Yeah, Cyrax, that's another thing. Like, the video I'm dropping, like, Cyrax is like, if you guys can help. like So he gives that call out for a lawyer, right, Kiwi, in the video we were watching earlier. You know how he ends that shit? How? He says, if you guys want to get in contact with me, you can call, you can contact me on Facebook or you can call me at 2347. Oh my gives God. Up number. <laughs> like, are you serious? Like, <sighs> everyone already has it. Like, you know, like anyone who wants his number has that number. But there's a few people out there who probably were looking for it, Cyrax, and you just gave it to them. The day after your PO or your PD tells you you can't be online, you say, fuck it, I'm going to get online and give out my phone number. <laughs> yeah, so, well, good job. Great job, Cyrax. And Sally keeping it on her Facebook, it's probably because she's just one of those old ladies. She's like, well, how am I going to keep in touch with my friends? How am I going to yeah, keep in touch real. with all my high school friends if they don't know how to contact me outside of <laughs> Facebook? So, yeah. They're all, they all make that mistake too often. Jesse, Jesse Pinkman, Pinkman with the Daniel five. Larson Daniel Larson sounds, sounds like a perpetually deflating balloon. It makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> he does. That's a great comparison. He really does. Hello, everyone. Yeah, this, this especially is, that. The, hello. <laughs> this is Daniel Larson. I love Club Penguin. <laughs> <laughs> Rick, oh. you're an official for Club Fest. <laughs> Daniel Larson. <laughs> I saw this when it came in that made me crack up. <laughs> All right. The man we, has we, spoken. Daniel yeah. Larson, it hey, is. We feel you, Rick. We'll we'll get on we'll get right on that. There he Bam. is. Bam. <laughs> you're the man, Rick. You said it. <laughs> you got code. it. <laughs> me and Abber, Code Red Ton. Oh, you cracking open a Code Red? That sounds lit right now. Hope you guys are doing well. Any advice for affordable equipment I could use if I decided to try YouTube? Hope mm. everyone's doing good. Well, I always, I, I started out with my phone. I think Kiwi did too. Yeah, I did. Yeah, um, this Smokey starting out on their phone. I always tell people if you got an iPhone, just use the iMovie app, and you'll, you'll realize quickly how how easy it is. But mm. then once you want to move on, you jump to what Kiwi's doing. I don't know what Kiwi's whole setup is, but um. Uh, yeah, it's 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 simple. I just use your regular Logitech. Get you maybe like a Yeti. Don't go for a Nano because uh, I think it's called the Yeti. It's got more like knobs on it for uh, adjusting shit. And then get you like an editing software that doesn't cost money every month. Just pay for it outright because like it's you're gonna get the same general effects. You're gonna still play around learning how to edit videos, but. Yeah, just get you get you a mic from fucking Walmart, man, and mm -hmm. install some software, and you're you're ready to roll. It's not that difficult. Yeah, tonight was my first ever stream. Like this, like next week is gonna be two years. We've I've been making videos, and it's crazy. Like, tonight has been my first stream that I've used a laptop and like an actual microphone, not my phone. Now I'm using my phone right now, but um, that's that's because my laptop died. Yeah, <laughs> are you gonna um? Are you going to do like a two-year stream? I'm going to try. If, so if, like I said, I'm going to try to do it on the computer so we can watch like old videos, but if worse comes to worse, I'll just do my little cow wrestling. That's what's up. No, so you're going to try to do this. I'm going to try. That's what's <laughs> oh, up. It took me two years to figure out how to put in a mic. I think it's going to be at least another year until I figure out how to get this work running. Well, dude, if you have any problems, hit me up because I've fucking encountered shit loads of problems that we've had to solve with oh, the I software. I'm worried that so. see yeah, that's the type of stuff I'm like, oh no. <laughs> I know I'm gonna run into all that tenfold. You'll be fine. Well yeah, I promise yeah. you it's it looks yeah, daunting, no, we'll but it's it easy to fix. We'll get it. Get um, yeah, for real. Only stream worth watching. Thanks for making great content, guys. Helps the work day go by. Thank oh, you. Oh man, thank you, Kato. Thank you for yeah. the kind words, bro. I'm glad the shows help your day go by. It's always it's always my favorite thing to hear. If you can just put your headphones in, listen to the show, and next thing you know, two hours have gone by, and that's two hours closer to you being out of work. Exactly. I always used to love listening to live streams when I was working. Mm -hmm. Little cow live streams, whether it's like King Cobra, or I'd even watch Rogue. Yep, or, uh, that was how I was. Like I would watch the Geno Dump. Mm -hmm. That's why I've yep. heard it so many times. Like, I've just... Yeah, you watch it once, and then you're like, you'll watch some other shit, and then you're like, oh, well, I might as well do the Christian doc again. Yeah, you know? anytime I have, like, a long drive or I get on an airplane, too, that's always my go-to. I download, like, four or five episodes of the Geno doc, mm. just put my headphones in, 
And if I need to friggin like if I'm just chilling, just listen to that. Yeah. I don't know. I just think Dark Souls lore. <laughs> I'll go with like Dark Souls lore for long term drives. I don't know what it is. Um, Weirdly enough, I don't do the it. lore. I do like the yeah. I'll watch the retrospectives on like Bloodborne and like different games. Yeah, I watch. Yeah, that's fun videos. shit. It's fun shit. Yeah, so there's so many goddamn Bloodborne videos in like the past year. People just keep making retrospectives and like each one mm -hmm. of them gets some. I guarantee you, we should. I'll make you a challenge. You make a Bloodborne retrospective video. I'll bet you like fifty bucks that shit hits a hundred k within like the week. People want to. People are hungry for more. It was so good. Yeah. Bloodborne is one of my favorite games of all time. Yeah. It's amazing. It's, it's, it's been good. Like I, said, I would I would have been key played it, but I lost all my save data again. Mm. I, and, and fucking... Oh, like I said, Fuck I'm back that. Before, before I... My first fight, I went in just completely shit on the shadows of Yarnum, and I don't feel like I can do that twice, so I'm just not doing it again. Yeah, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Give it some time. Maybe you'll want to go back. Yeah, I think I will. Uh, Tony Chase equals Anthony. Who is that? Anthony oh. Palumbo. I'm not sure who that is. But... Oh shit, Palumbo! Like uh, the fucking Palumboism. I'm not sure. You know, like Big Lenny's gut. Oh well. Oh I... no, this is a New York State senator. I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that was wrong. Thank Dennis. Oh shit. The satellite man will have Tony's teeth. Yo, Tony, you better be fucking careful, bro. Tony, you hear you me? Be... You don't own shit. Tony owns it, satellite man. You, you don't be own real nothing. You real fucking careful, Tony. The satellite mm -hmm. man's here in chat, and he's looking to get them pearly whites. We got mm -hmm. him. To be fair, he got him. But yeah, you did. You fucking you stole his teeth. Bastard. Roll for the five. Hey, Kiwi and Smokes. Hope you guys are having a great Wednesday. What did I miss so far? Well, you missed, uh, we talked about White Bowser in the beginning. Then after Bowser, we got to old Cyrax. Just got to get Cyrax and his fucking wild court shit. Um, then we got to Daniel Larson. We got some Tony Chase, which is around the point where I think you got on the stream. And yeah, we've just been chilling. Yeah, I, hope, yeah. I hope everyone's been enjoying the show, and I hope you enjoyed the show tonight. Fuck yeah. It's been a good one. It's been yeah. fun. Had a lot of you fun see chats. Cobra's been funny. Recent community post. Oh yeah, Cobra's calling out Cyrax. I put up that short on my channel of Cobra calling out Cyrax. Yeah, um, yeah. he. Uh, it's funny because he's like uh, thinks that Cyrax dropped a new like diss track, diss on, track him, on him, which didn't happen. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> of course he does. Of course he does. Matt, sweet Matty G, <laughs> Matthew eighteen verses fifteen twenty. If Bowser sins against you and his church can't make him listen, Jesus will watch you treat him like a pagan or tax collector. My God, my God! See, I, I back when back when I read the Bible back in the day, I remember reading that too, and I never knew what it meant until right now. I thought there was something about like you know the Bowser from Mario, but my God, my God, it means it means so much. It has such a different meaning now after we've uh, encountered that one white Bowser. Koopa, what was it? Koopalations? Koopalations. Fucking Koopalations. Sweet Matty. Fucking Koopalations. will be cellmates soon. We can only <laughs> hope, Rexilla. We can only hope. That'd be a funny fucking... <laughs> funny thing to see. That's what we were going for with the thumbnail. It was just like two guys yeah. uh, just trying to make it. All they have is each other in the yeah, clink. Two hombres. Two hombres in a mm -hmm. jail cell somewhere. You know, maybe in the psych ward together. Maybe not the jail cell, maybe in the psych ward. What's the name of that prison game where you, like, play with a separate guy and you're breaking out? Breaking, oh, what do you mean? It's, it's this game where, like, you break out of prison. You never, I, I know, it's, oh well, fucking dead reference. I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> Addicts Art Quarter with the five, get off that computer, call Cyrax. I'm feeling romantical, <laughs> but... Fuck, I can't. That was definitely a reference to something, but I can't remember what. Oh, I can't either. Damn it, we missed the reference. <laughs> so sorry, you. Art. Thank Carter. you, Arctic. Yeah, for real. For real. Bastard the Green. You guys seen the show Oz? Remember when Tobias was forced to dress in drag and sing I've Got a Bad? Welcome oh. to your new life, Cyrax. That show is fucked up. <laughs> that show is fucked up, and it's definitely the life Cyrax would live in prison. The game is called The Way Out. Chat's telling me it's called The Way Out. Okay. Um, it's good. 
Cool. But yeah, that would be bastard? funny as fuck, bastard. The green. Thank you, bro. <laughs> Nate Frog. Hey, Smokes and QB. I'm making a beginner's guide to Chase Chase hmm. Wilkins. What events would you use to introduce new peeps to Chase other than three three and six twenty five? Um, the stylus. The stylus, absolutely. <sighs> The stream where he confronted Kate right after he got caught talking to a 14-year-old or the decoy. That's a big one. Um, yeah. the, the, the first two times Marty went to his house. Um, yeah. That's big. The Dust Smoking Hippies channel for reference. That's where I would go to look up that. Dust Smoking Hippies, I'd look up a lot of this stuff on because they have great videos on the stuff with uh, Cyrax in the past. Um, there's yeah. a lot of events. There's a lot of events. Definitely the one. Definitely. Yeah, Absolutely. Skull Scratchers, uh, the Stylus event, that's, like, legendary. Um, maybe the Darkness? The I mean, that's not... Be, yeah. Oh, the, the record vibe. deal. The record deal. Yes. Holy shit. The record the deal record has to deal. be first, yeah. yeah. The whole uh, fucking Bender Boys saga. That'd be what I'd do first. Yeah. So there's tons of stuff you can mm -hmm. go get there, Nate Frog. Bastard the Green and Geek, welcome guys, you're tapists. And I you saw that you gave some memberships, Bastard. Um, guys will get to see that Daniel Larson video. You'll get to see my Donnie Mayo video probably later tonight. Nice. Exciting times. Dari, oh, Dari with the 20. When I was a child in the early 2000s, it was always about pedos getting caught for far too late. Nowadays, I'm grateful it's more common to get caught at the Discord stage before they show up at yeah. the address. That's a great yeah. way to put it, Dari. It's, uh, it's, it's like... So many, like, the catcher predator shit, I think, really started a generation of catching these people before they act on it. And I think that's a great thing. Some people think it's wrong because, oh, they never did anything. Fuck that. Wouldn't you rather, wouldn't you rather this person be in jail, be far away from the society before they do anything without, like, taking that risk? I sure as shit would. Yeah, I feel like, honestly, it's better times that these people are more looked at and, and more suspected. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. It's a great way to put it. Yep. Thank you for the 20 dog. Sorry. Whoop a zinc for the ten. <laughs> Rev those engines, boys. Let's go. God, it's, it's still. I still get. I'll still get that song stuck in my head every now and again. Yeah, we'll have to listen to it on the way out. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Light them up, boys. Thank you, Whoop a zing. We got you. He's got. He's a got gun a gun. <laughs> Bowser's words are like nails on the belt sander. Mm. Yeah, no, he's horrible. Oh. To listen to. He's horrible. To listen to. Oh. So true. They're degrading to the ears. Any updates on Danderson? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We were talking about it a little bit earlier in the stream. Guess Bo. Mm -hmm. uh, and now out of the psych the ward. Too. Yep, out of the psych ward. Just going crazy on his community wall. Same yep. old Daniel. Different day. Yep. Yep. <laughs> oh, wait man. for the fine. Wait for the fine for snowy sidewalk this winter. Yeah, right. Yeah. People are going to be reporting that house all the fucking time. Yep. And they're not going to scrape it. That'll just make it easier for protesters to accumulate out there. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Keep it snowy so those dastardly protesters have to stay where it is cleared over on the house across the street. That's a beautiful profile picture, by the it way. It is. It is. <laughs> Bowser takes the kids. Fuentes is grooving. Oh, my <laughs> God. Fuentes is such a fucking weirdo. I, would, I wanted to get to that Ooh. this week, but... That fucking Fuentes Ralph Leafy situation, bro. It's just hard to sit through all of it because you got to sit through like a nine hour Ralph stream to find out all the stuff going on. Um, yeah. Leafy streams, I'm sorry. Like, uh, Leafy, you can think what you want about me and Kiwi, but <laughs> Leafy is fucking insufferable. Like, he's, he's, he's the worst. And, and Fuentes is just a, Fuentes is a pussy. Fuentes is a, he's harboring pedophiles in his community. The same community that Ethan Ralph was okay with harboring pedophiles up until last week. So he's just as big of a weirdo, but now he's trying to expose them because he got mad at them for not inviting him to a party. Uh, yeah, it's all fucked up all around. You know, Leafy, Leafy's just insufferable. The other two are on some weird pedo shit. I don't really know. <laughs> I don't really know uh, what's going to happen now with Ralph and Fuentes, but it's definitely going to be interesting. Amen. Amen. The real Earl dude with the two Earl it has his home and number on. Yeah, he does. Thank he you does. for letting us know, Earl. Thanks, Earl. <laughs> Thank Good to you, see bro. you again, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony Palumbo isn't to catch a predator. He's not oh. gay or anything. Just saying, oh, okay, he's that guy. Okay. okay that makes sense. The not gay, not never. Thank you. Oh, okay. Bert. That makes sense. Thanks, Embargo. Matt, sweet Matty G. Matthew 186. If you. Ch if you cause a child to sin jesus says to drown them in the sea weighed down with a 
Isle Stone Mafia style. Jesus okay drowning pedophiles. All right. Well, well Earl is a Catholic, so you know. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> had a good mind. Be. Jesus had a good mind on him. Yeah, Jesus knew what's up. Message from Mr. Sacco. Um, Glory Hole just put a video out. Lit. Oh, that's awesome. We'll that's awesome. You guys should go. I don't know if we'll do that here today, but uh, we might check it out next week. Yeah. Uh, because we're kind of we're we're at that almost three hour mark. It's crazy. Yeah, I know it goes quick. Mm-hmm. Rick Earl, Silla, Earl, why don't you take a there? seat? <laughs> <laughs> but 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 I I I was just here uh, to get a cupcake. I I you know it's so he would not handle that kind of a situation very well at all. He'd cry. <gasps> Oh, and that's everybody. That yeah, is man. everyone. Wraps up another fun ass week, bro. It's it's all like I said, man. It's always a good time doing the show. And thank you for guys real. for coming out as always. Yeah, thank you guys for coming out. You can rest assured we'll we'll keep keep tabs on these characters. We'll update you next week and you'll know just what's going on. So uh Yeah, I think that's it. Me and Smokey have that best of video coming out probably uh Oh, maybe next week, later this week. I don't know quite sure. I'll talk to you on it. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I, well, what do you have on the plate? What's your next video going to be about? Um, but, yeah, my Cyrax video drops tomorrow. I'm still working on this Daniel Larson video because more co crazy community posts keep coming out. And the majority of the video is just me reading off community posts because of how batshit insane they are. He deleted nice. a lot of them, but he's been doing this for days now. Um, yeah. Like, so, yeah, I'm working on that. But, yeah, the Cyrax video dropping tomorrow. Nice. Now then, you like you sleep. said, we'll have to work on Best of Bowser. Best yeah. of Bowser might be necessary now. Yeah, that would be fun. All right, guys. I think that's the show. Um, yeah. We'll see you right here next week. Every Wednesday, 6.30 Eastern Time. Too high for stupid. Be there. Wait, what? Is that I, I'm just, I'm, I don't know. Wait, what? Let's see real quick. I'm going to go over. I'm going to check his channel. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see here. NYC. Could have been on TikTok, you know. It would, would it be on there? Um, he always bitches about that subreddit. Would it be on there? I ran a mile at the rec center. Um, live. Let's see here, Daniel. Maybe it's already up. Um, I don't see anything. Breaking record scratch. Let's see here. I think it's on his community post. He was talking about it. Okay, okay. What the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> record scratch moment sorry chat we just want to make sure yeah, if daniel larson's getting in fights again that's can't pass up on that <laughs> i got my phone charger stolen in the attack pro oh god <laughs> what What's, what happened <laughs> this so how is it proof of the attack this is just a no trespassing war oh i'm not even sharing the tab here it is look proof of the attack what the fuck this is a no trespass to the above listed individuals, Daniel Larson. You cannot <laughs> go to this address. So he got trespassed and that's proof? <laughs> Here's the person. Um, I hereby revoke any and all consent to the above listed person to enter or remain at the property of the location listed above. I'm authorized to order this notice because I am an owner authorized agent of the above listed address. Let's... <laughs> what? Can you take I have new criminal uh, charges. I can't, I can't really uh, read it. Here it is. Yeah, let me remove us. I'm sorry. You're, no, you're all good. You're all good. Um, Come on here. There we go. I just got attacked at a gas station 
and my throat was grabbed by a random person and kicked in my private area. Oh, mad. <laughs> <laughs> so some dude walked up, choked Daniel, and kicked him in the balls. <laughs> His phone battery was dead. His backpack was stolen. He has a new criminal charge. Basically, my whole question is, what the fuck did he do to get this person to do that? Because that's always the case in these situations with Daniel. Probably freaked the fuck out at someone at the gas station. He decided to fucking start teeing off on him. Oh, my God. Mr. Larson has come to my attention. You're going to run for 2024. I'd like to be your partner. <laughs> all, all these all these politicians are just getting, they're putting their necks out there trying to get Daniel. You know, Biden's helping him now. It's Pence. They're dying to get Daniel back. They need him. Wow. Well, That's, yep, that well, was fun. Yeah, that was, that was out of nowhere. <laughs> but thank you guys again for coming yeah. to the show tonight, man. We'll got you next week. And have a great week, y'all. Fuck yeah. Shout out to Club Fucking Doom. <laughs>